give away a couple of things here to start us out. Okay. What's up, Mama G? Thanks for being here. All right, got a, got a bunch of people flooding in. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being here. Make sure you enter the giveaway. A couple little locker finds, nothing too valuable here, but we got a faux rabbit's foot. Not a real rabbit's foot, it's faux. Almost looks like Juicy Couture, a little clip for either your bag, maybe, or to clip onto a keychain or something, and then one of those purse, purse uh, hangers. Put that on the table, hang your purse, right? Learned that a few years ago. I found one in the locker, and I had no clue what it was. All right. Lisa, thank you so much. I'm feeling much better this week. Much, much better. Cajun Thrifter Gal, hello. GG Collectibles. S.H. Davis. What's up, Mama G? Yeah, so last week, uh, Kira Lily, hello. Last week, I, I really was not feeling good. I was in a lot of pain and uh, took a painkiller. I had to, had to take a painkiller. She makes me a little groggy, you know. Um, so was not really was not feeling like being upright, even you know, let alone um, interactive and doing an auction that sort of thing. But um, had like four, probably about four days of pain, and then went to the cardiologist, which I already had an appointment, so it just worked out perfect. Went in there, he looked me over. He's like, "You're fine." <laughs> he's like. It, He's pressing around. Luckily, I was still in pain. He's pressing around, and he's like, you know what you have? You have a, a deep muscle strain. And he's like, we say strain. He's like, but you can understand it more clearly as a tear. You have a little tear, a, a muscle tear, deep muscle tear in your chest. But he goes, but it's not around your surgery area. So he goes, I'm not concerned, really. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> so back to work. Um, and the pain on that day was already going down. Uh so, hey, Gianna's here. What's up, Gianna? My pain was already going down. Um, so it was already, basically, they just got to heal, go away on its own, which it was already doing, but the doctor gave me a, a, a good, uh, basically, he's like, you're fine. You're fine. He's like, don't do any heavy lifting. Do you, he goes, do you have to do heavy lifting for your job? I said, yeah. And he's like, I give you a note for your boss. And I'm like, that's not going to help, really, so. <laughs> Camille Green Eyes, hello. Thanks for being here. Uh, Jan yeah, Jana's saying, show some love for Locker Nuts because he is solo tonight. Um, Jana's got some real estate stuff to do, and then she has something else she, she has to do after that. So she'll be out tonight. We'll see if one of the girls pop in. Uh, Jana, if you could email the girls, just I forgot to message them and ask them to, I thought I heard one, ask them to, to pop in and, and help a little bit. We won't be on too late tonight. We, we don't have like a super huge show. I was going to do a bunch of comics and roll with that at the end, but we don't have a super huge show because we also have a show on Friday night. Could I hire a, a lifter? Um, I could. It's just with filming and everything, it gets problematic. One, with scheduling because I won't need somebody every day. And for two, with filming, I don't really like having people around when I'm filming. Except, you know, Jana or the girls is, is totally different, but, um, you know, it's it's different. It changes the dynamic, and I'm sure you guys, if you watch this for a while, I've done collaborations with other guys before. It just feels different, you know. It's like I'm not in my groove. I lose my mojo a little bit. Crazy French in the house. What's up, mom? Thanks for being here. Best before 1984 says comics to be sold individually or as lots. I think tonight we're gonna try some lots. We usually do them individually. We'll just see how it goes. I was gonna try some lots. See if we can speed it up. I have a, a lot of comic books, lots of Wolverine and X-Men tonight, a little bit of Star Wars. Um, Austin says, I've been binge watching all your videos. Thank you so much. Y'all are the best. <laughs> We're something. We're something. Um, we try our best. Actually, I mean, I don't even know if I can say that anymore. I, I tried pretty hard. <laughs> we just have fun, really. We have fun, so I, I, I appreciate that you like uh, what we do. I really do, because I this is a dream job for me. Let's go ahead and draw this little funsies here. Next up, another little, just a thing out of one of the videos is coin purse, leather coin purse. Poobuck got it, Poobuck. What's up, and congratulations to you. All right. This one, when I found it in the locker, which wasn't that long ago, it was filled with coins. No more. But you do get the little leather 
It reminds me of something that you'd buy off a tour stop in Mexico. Leather, probably cra uh, handmade. Little craft, craft, nice craftsmanship on it. Um, give that away. Yeah, it's just fun, right? Oh, you have the same shirt? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Van Gogh is um, definitely my favorite artist. And, of course, Star Wars, anything tied in Star Wars. Oh, I didn't see your question, Mama G. Let me scroll up there. Oh, I couldn't figure that out. I could not figure it out. They, this system has changed, and I couldn't figure it out. I'm going to need her uh, screen name, the exact one. I think I can figure out if I have their exact screen name. Yeah. Hunting Lost Treasure. Quick question. Are you selling the Bible cover tonight? Um, That, I think, already went to the flea market. Yeah. Next time I find one, I can put it in the auction. But it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. You know, some of the things like, ah, should we put it in the auction or bring it to the market? I like to really just bring the best, best stuff to the auction. And um, I know those are expensive, but it's like, eh, I don't know if that's what everybody wants or needs. But it's sort of like, once you have one, do you need another one? I don't know. But tonight we've got comics. We've got some little decorative stuff. We do have a little bit of crystal Got some men's watches. Actually, I could probably show you guys around real quick. Let me see if I can get that set up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Trinket Bliss, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Compliments on the YouTube. Let me see if I can do this. I'll give you guys a little tour. Give me one second. There. Okay. Yeah, we got the comics right here, and these are, they're in very nice condition, but they're mostly newer stuff. Uncanny X-Men, we've got uh, X-Force there, Wolverine, and I think we have a little bit of Star Wars here too. And then uh, more Wolverines here, we got tons of Wolverine. It's usually pretty good, because uh, a lot of people like Wolverine. Got some glassware from that recent locker, a little bit of decorative stuff here. A couple men's watches from this recent locker, Kenneth Cole right here. Um, let's see a little, I don't even know what these are really. Jana set this up and I didn't really pay much attention because I thought she was going to be here. So we have some coins here, DVDs here, a couple mugs there. Uh, we do have some fragrances. This is some nice stuff right here. Look at this Dolce & Gabbana, Ken Cole, Jimmy Ch uh, Chu, Ferragamo. Nice stuff. A little bit more back here, Jay-Z. Yeah, Kenneth Cole Black is good stuff. Some um, uh, handkerchiefs, <laughs> manicure set. We do have a little bit of handbags left, so here's some nice nice handbags. I'm not sure what that brand is. Uh, this one, what is this? I forget. Something good. This is a made in Mexico handbag right here. Another very fine leather work on that. This is a brand new purse right here by Iman. And I think, well, I don't know if that's leather or not, but this is a, this is a nice bag. We have the matching dust cover. And then a Victoria's Secret piece back there. This we showed a couple weeks ago. We can sell that the little Fender guitar display. We have these moccasins by Minnetonka. A little bit of jewelry. This is all, hmm, I thought this is all silver. This is Cloisonne right here, I think. So maybe this is silver. Uh, yeah, a little bit of this and that. Some sign pictures of some sports. More of those custom Disney hair bands here. Or a boat, or what do they call whatever clips, hair clips. And um, look at this, this is cool. Kansas, The Who, this is 1980. These are all tour books, concert books. E L O. And what was this one? This is Journey. Nice. And a little bit more Cineflex magazines if you guys want that. Um, this Raiders jacket, we had a fan ask for that. So if you guys want that tonight, it's pretty cool. Super Bowl patches on the arms. Um, I forget the size. It's probably a triple X, double X or triple X. It's got a nice, like, thick uh, felt patch on the back there. And then there's a couple more jackets over here. This one I might have to have a starting bid on. This is that, uh, what do you call it? Seattle Sonics right here. Very nice leather, but it needs to be clean. It's got some wear on the leather right there. And then we have a it's really nice Nike windbreaker right here. And then this is this one of those smoke rise jackets. So I got some comments on that. I think those are about 150 bucks. 
So anyways, that's the tour. Okay. That's what we got tonight. Oh yeah, and, and Mama G is dropping in there uh, to let you guys know. Thank you, Mama G. We need to talk about that a lot tonight if we can. Friday night, we've been, part of, we've been invited to be part of this big selling event. All right, and the, this giveaway is running right now. Just launched uh, Friday night. Lizzie G, congrats. Congrats, Lizzie. And uh, we'll do one quick giveaway. I won't wait the five minutes on this one. We'll do one of our beanie caps. Uh, Friday night, it's, they're calling it the Great Treasure Sale. And it's a whatnot sponsored event. So um, we've been invited and uh, it was just a real big honor. There's a whole lineup all day long of great sellers. We're on at 4 p.m. So like our normal slot, uh, but it's on Friday night. We have one hour to sell great stuff and we've got great stuff. We've got the pair of Gucci shoes brand new that we found recently. I've got a sign ball from the Gold, um, Gold State Warriors. This is just naming a few. More high-end shoes from the locker recently with the guys' stuff like Air Force Ones and those crocodile shoes. Got some World War II helmets, nicer hats. Got some very nice LPs, vinyl LPs. Uh, no football cards tonight. No, we don't have any – no sports cards or anything tonight. No cards. Um, we're, we've got some – we're pulling out some real thunder for this show. And uh, we got one hour. So if you guys are available uh, Friday night, 4 p.m. Pacific – you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be fun. And if um, if you uh, know anybody who's not on Whatnot yet, invite them over. The, if you use our link from the website, you'll get the $15 spending credit. There's also a coupon for first-time buyers, uh, $10 off. And that's for first-time buyers on Whatnot, an extra $10. So technically, a new buyer could receive $25 off. Uh, $15 spending credit plus $10 off coupon. You can save 25 bucks for a new buyer. It's pretty good. So if you know anybody who hasn't tried it, let them know. But make sure they use our link because I'll give them the $15. All right, let's give this away. And then we'll get running. Do you guys see something that you liked out of that little preview? Let me know because I'll start with that. John from Kentucky says, hello. What's up, John? And uh, Stephen Sosa. What's up, Stephen? Thank you and congratulations. Haven't seen you in a minute. Three-wheeler, what's up to you too? All right. So. All right, all right, all right, all right. We can start with some coins. So everybody likes coins, but let me know what you guys would like. Thanks, Mama Jean. Uh, Blue rays, yes, a lot. We'll, we sell them in lots. So there's two stacks, and that means two lots. Thank you so much, Stephen. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling really good. Last week, not so much. This week, feel great. Uh, 2004 Gold Edition State Quarter Collection. That's what this is. So they are what they are. They are gold-plated coins. So the 2004 releases here. What's that? Michigan, Texas, Florida, Iowa, and Wisconsin. And they got a gold plating just to make them collectible, commemorative, whatever. All right. So it comes with the case. And these are like mint condition, about as mint as it gets because they came out of that uh, locker I got where they basically bought them and I don't, most of them they didn't even open. Okay. Give me just a second. We may run a solo tonight. It's going to go a little bit slower, but I'll do my best. 20 second auction starts now, just starts at just a dollar. Okay. Thanks, Happy Jack. <laughs> yeah, I like the shirt too. Sports autographs. Yeah, okay, I'll ready those up. And I'll ready up the, some DVDs. All right, and we sold to Car. What's up, Car? Congrats on the first win tonight. Nice. Okay. Yeah, these DVDs are basically as many as we can fit in a large flat rate box. Uh, because when we do a variety show like this, we don't have the option of shipping media mail. So we do as much as we can fit in a large flat rate. We'll give you a lot. And it's just $8.35 $8 for shipping. So. 
It's very fair. It's probably cheaper than Media Mail. Anyways, Phoenix Rose says, hey, Locker Nuts Evening, Jack and Mama G. Doing great here. Thank you so much. No Legos either. No Legos tonight. Okay, we're going to sell this whole lot of things that we found. This is uh, came in this right here. Don Nelson. I can't remember if there's a COA. But this is a live ink signature right here. And this is on photographic paper. So looks like he bought it in 2012. This and I don't know these players, guys. So uh, this is Warriors, obviously. Number two, as it looks like. Live ink signature. You got the NBA hologram right there. You got this guy, another warrior. Don't know who that is. Another of the holograms right there. On photographic paper, also. There's another, this is a baseball player signed. You guys know who that is? Photographic paper. This is probably not worth as much. It's just on a, like a copy paper. Um, it looks like they went to some Reno Hilton event. And this guy, uh, oh, he's from the Houston Oilers. Okay, Earl Campbell. I don't know who that is. Maybe I should. But I was thinking it's just like a rodeo guy. But no, that's a football player. And then a couple just photographs there. Clay Thompson right here. But uh, who's that? I should probably know who that is. Probably someone famous. Got the nice holographic stickers on these two. So all except for the photocopied one is like legit sports stuff. All right. So we'll start that off at just a buck. Dakota Tuna, what's up? What is up? Thanks for being here. Hey, Greta, yes, I'm feeling much better this week. Thank you so much. If you missed it, I already said I, I wound up having a little muscle tear. Uh, they call it muscle strain, but it seems a muscle tear. So, all right, Cable won that for 13 bucks. That seems like a good pickup for 13 bucks. Yeah, so I just need to let it heal. And it's, I mean, I don't know if it's healed, but it doesn't hurt anymore, so I'm back to work. Yay. <laughs> I don't like to not work, you know? And it, but I really did rest all last week, pretty much. So, put me behind, too. All right, this is going to be lifting the compressor now. I lifted something much harder. That was a while ago, but I tried to lift this TV. I couldn't lift it. Maybe that did it. Okay. This is going to be a five pound flat right here. So, um, just to let you guys know, like this, for any time we do like a five pound flat rate, we're trying to get the cost of shipping uh, acceptable for you guys. This is over five pounds, I believe. So, anytime we go over five pounds, we'll use a flat rate box. We can only sell to continental US. So, no international bids on this one, please. It's the only way I can make the um, shipping work, you know. Game plan. Soul man. Blake View Terrace. Michael Clayton. Return to house on Haunted Hill. This dude was a reverend. Um, this one is still brand new. Fruit Vale Station. Taking a felon one, two, three. Unstoppable. Black Swan. Inception. There's a couple here that came from a different locker. Like this one, I think came. These three, I think, came from a different locker. This is Game of Thrones season one, first season. So you get the whole set there. Sweetwater. Boy in the striped pajamas. Monster. It's all same lot, guys. Obsessed. While she was out. Ten thousand BC. The help. Devil. Huh. Don't even know what that is. Not easily broken. The soloist. Hangover part two. Good deeds. Tyler Perry. Orphan. Paul Blart Mall Cop. Unbreakable. Oh, that's a great movie. And the bank job. Okay, so maybe you're counting, but two, four, six, eight, 14, 16, 17. I think it's 29, 29 movies there. Starts just a buck.
29 Blu-ray DVDs. No military stuff like that tonight. Sometimes we do find it. And when we do find it, we do put it in the auction. It's been a while since we found any of that kind of stuff. Going for less than a dollar each right now. There we go. Got a dollar each. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Kathy Ann's winning. All right, Kathy Ann. Wow, just a barely over a dollar each. That was a good pickup. Okay. Nice. Okay, what else you guys want? Do we have any coins tonight? Yeah, we just sold one. We got a little bit more. We'll, just, we'll keep it going. Oh, first time buyer. That's awesome. Thanks. Thanks and congrats. Here's, we'll do another set of uh, coins here. Comics. All right. We do have comics tonight. And we can do some of those. Okay, this one here is 2001 Platinum Series. It says it's a quarter proof set. The other one came with this too, COA. I don't think I pulled it out. All right. 2001, this is a platinum set. So this would be covered, like the last one's covered with the gold plating. These are plated in platinum. It's hard to see the difference because... They just look silver shiny, but these are platinum plated. It makes it a little different. Okay. All right, starts with just a buck for a coin set. Purses. All right. All right, Rick and Picks, congrats. Should we do one more set of those? Thank you and congratulations. Yeah, it doesn't show when the, uh, on our end, it doesn't show when it's a first time buyer. And I wish it did because it's, you'd want the seller to know more than everybody else. But I know when I'm on somebody else's auction, you can see it very clearly, right? 2007 Philadelphia. Mint quarter set there, COA. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Washington, and Montana. Another beautiful set. Really, I don't think these have even been handled at all. All right, starts at a butt. Thanks, P.O.P. Yeah, it feels good to be back in action. Yeah, tomorrow night, Mama G's having a whatnot show, too, so she's dropping a reminder there. If you guys don't follow her already, you should be able to click her name. Very easily, you can pop up and either go to her profile and follow her, or um, maybe you can follow right through the click. I'm not sure, but make sure you're following her. She's doing a show tomorrow. She tries to do them every Tuesday. All right. Congrats, Rick and Picks. All right. Congrats again. This is, uh, you know, I'm not exactly even sure what this is. So it says 31 State P quarter set. Delaware, California, River P. So he had a, he has a bunch of these. So I guess it looks like maybe 31 quarters in there in Delaware. I, I guess, I don't know. 
Starts at the buck, so. So, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what this purse is. Oh, it's Nordstrom. It's Nordstrom brand. All right. Ian won that one. Congrats, Ian. All right, let me do one more quarter set, and then we'll get to some purses just because it's a little easy with the weights and everything. And Rick and Pig says, you are my storage unit idol. Love the way you organize. Thank you so much. Okay, this one's 2004 Denver Mint Edition. Appreciate that, Rick. <laughs> COA right there. And here's what we got. 2004. Texas, Florida, Michigan, Iowa, and Wisconsin. All right. There we go. Starts at a buck. Hey, Pat Dees, what's up? All right, Rick and Pick's got another one. Nice. We have more, so we'll do more later if you stick around. Uh, there'll be more chances to get some of these. Uh, right now, let's move to some purses. Mean Sting says, Big Christian Howdy from Texas. All right. Thanks for being here. Okay. All right, this, let me see. Okay. This purse right here is Nordstrom brand. So we got a nice, nice brand here. Um, it does have some wear on it. So it is used. If you guys have been watching our YouTube, we bought a, a locker a couple lockers ago that had uh the gal had a lot of purses a lot of handbags so this is a nordstrom brand and i think it's a faux fur here but it looks like leather on the accents a little bit of wear on the handle like you see right here a little wear right there but overall in very nice shape bottom doesn't show much wear at all just see a little on the handle and as I mentioned, this is a Nordstrom brand. It still has a tag inside of it. Ay, ay, ay. Not getting much light in there. Let me pump up the light. Okay, there we go. That hopefully will help. Oh my goodness. There we go. Very clean inside. If she used it, she didn't take the tag off. And that's some paper, I think, from our wrapping paper we put in there. Um, she left the tag on it. The tag's connected on the inside. Looks like it's 300 bucks. Black beige leopard print. $300 brand new. So, wow. Not a uh, not a cheap purse. Nordstrom brand is usually pretty good, like the dress shirts and stuff. Pretty solid brand. Okay, so. Zipper works great. It's just that little bit of wear on the handle. A little bit right there. Not too much, though. Not too much on that side. It's nice looking. Okay. Okay. 
Here we go. Starts at a butt. Nordstrom brand purse. We, did I end up finding the boots? Which boots were those, Dustin? I can't remember. Rick says, I buy storage units myself. Just need to buy some so I can put it out there in the universe. It is fun, isn't it? Oh, and we did not find those boots. Those, uh, what are they, hunter boots? Did not find those, unfortunately. All right, and won that one. Congrats, and 27 bucks. Good pickup. Okay, next one, this is a little black leather purse here, like a little bit, again, like very light signs of wear, need a little scuff right here, I see little, little, you know, whatever, nicks or whatever in the leather, it shows signs of wear, but not much, oh, this size maybe needs, ah, oh, geez, this just needs to be wiped down, a little scuff right there. So we don't do much cleaning on these. So like if you were to use some leather conditioner or something, these are going to clean up a lot better. Oh, this is a coach. This is a coach. There's our coach tag inside with the serial number. Right here. And just like the other one, inside looks pretty clean. She, I think, but she used this one a bit more than the other one just based on the little bit more signs of wear on the outside. That looks nice and clean. You got the coach pattern on the inside of there. Nice. Low black leather purse. Coach. Unlike any other coach, the leather, I mean, the zipper works super, super smooth. Okay. All right, guys, let me change the weight. Lighten it up a little bit, small purse. And it starts at a buck. Coach purse starts in, starting at just a dollar. Size on the Raiders jacket. Let me find out. It's a big dude, so it's probably two or three X. Oh, this is an extra large, actually. Uh, that one's an extra large. His clothes usually is two X or three X. That's extra large. I see it probably runs like a big extra large though. You have the uh, the the Gator shoes. I got one pair here. All right, dude, chick won that one for 38. Congrats. Look at these shoes. These, um, the guy had tons of these. We're going to sell these on the Friday auction right here. We'll try them out, see if anybody needs them. I think they're size 11. 11. And uh, that is, uh, those are very expensive. On the used market, they sell anywhere from a 150 to 300 for that brand. And in that condition, like a comparable condition sells usually for around 150 to 200, but I've seen comps up um, at 300, maybe even a little higher. Crazy, I think. Uh, brand new, I think they're six to 700. Okay, so the next one right here is this handbag. And this is the, uh, what I was saying about um, custom leather, I think made in Mexico. Now this one, you see the leather is, or the dye rather, is wearing off a little bit like here and right here. See right here. The dye is wearing off a little bit. So the black is, the, the leather, natural leather color is showing through the black. But look at the detail in that. This is a pretty cool purse. I like custom leather pieces, especially when you see the artistry that goes into it like this one. All that carved 
I don't know if that's carved or pressed into it. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, look at that. Coellers. And it's uh, made Mexico. It's got a lot of pockets inside, too. This pocket here, pocket here. So, pretty neat piece. All right. Wish I had a little more light down here because the black gets washed out, but I think you guys get the picture. Okay, starts at about. It's running. What kind of table do we use? This right here is just one of those cheap plastic... Uh, Lifetime, you know, the, the company's Lifetime. Just one of those plastic pop-up tables, same as what we use at the flea market. And then I just have a little full leather mat right here that we put down. Okay, well, next bag we'll do that Iman purse. Okay, here's the, yeah, I know it has a matching dust bag. So, Kiwi shoe polish with soft brush after good leather cleaning, says POP, to return the color there. Thank you so much. JG, buy or sell, congrats. It's a neat piece. All right. Okay. All right, the next one. This one is brand spanking new. So, as I mentioned, we do have the dust bag right here, Iman, that it comes in. Okay. I think it even has a plastic bag that it comes into. But this is, let's see, is this leather? That's the question. It's still got the padding, uh, plastic over the handles here. Yeah, this one is beautiful inside. Camera looks a little dark in here, but it is clean. I, this one is not ever used. So the outside is 100% man-made of materials. So this is not real leather, it's pleather. All right, we got a nice little pocket right here. Oh, there she is. Yvonne, the model, uh, married to David Bowie, right? Or was married to David Bowie. <laughs> R.I.P. David Bowie. All right. And here's the chain. Here's the strap. All protected in plastic. Nothing's nothing is showing wear on that because it is brand spanking new. So this one. And again, that one's going to come with the dust bag and everything. So, all right, let's run it. Starts at a buck. No military items tonight, but we'll have a couple of uh, helmets on our Friday show. Like this one, for example. I think it might be World War II, but I don't know. And then I have a, ins another insert. We'll sell the insert separately. Epic storage is rating with the party six. Thank you so much, you guys. I, pre I appreciate that. And welcome. All right, 31 bucks. Wow. Okay. I don't know what these go for, but I really did think that we'd go for more than that. It uh, seems like a pretty high quality bag. So great pickup. Kim, great pickup. Nice. OK. 
Okay, got a couple more handbags, then we'll get some different stuff too. Well, one more handbag, and then a little little wallet or something. This one, this one's definitely seen some wear wear on the outside. It's just a a nice what do you call it? A tote duffel bag? I, I'm not duffel, but tote. And it's got that print on the inside. We did not research this one. The last time I had a bag like this, though, with the Victoria's Secret models on the inside like that, it, it was actually a pretty expensive bag. Looks like it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It is a little scuffed up. So I just want to make sure we make that clear. It is pre-owned, used, but I think some of these have some pretty decent value. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I'll lighten up, to make it a little bit lighter here for the weight, and we'll start it at a buck. No Pokemon cards tonight. And <laughs> Fred Arder says, I'm still nuts. That's great, Fred. We would never want you to change. Arnold's Collection, what's up? Thanks for being here. We really need some like lower light here to light this stuff a little better. You guys think we'd be super professional since we've been doing these live auctions for like six years, but surprisingly, we really aren't. <laughs> We're really not. It's the like amateur hour over here. All right, mate, Keith. Keith, congratulations. Got it for 11 bucks. Nice. I mean, like I was saying, we do it on a plastic pop up table. The lights were not cheap in here, but probably didn't buy enough. This is our extra spare bedroom after the boys moved out. It became the auction room. <laughs> All right, one more little bag. Oh, this I think. So. What is this? Betsy Johnson, I think. This little one, little coin purse. No, this is Brighton. I should have known that. Brighton. And there's the inside. The inside's cool. Looks clean too. A little leather coin purse. Or makeup, I guess, but. Kimo, what's up? <laughs> I need light up shoes. Okay, there's this little little purse right here made by Brighton. And starting at a buck. Yeah, I think Jenna's watching her. At least she was. Well, she might not be right now. She's doing some real estate stuff right now. She's got another another deal uh, that is in the works right now. So she's meeting with her clients and um, I think finishing writing up the offer to for a, a purchase. She just helped them sell a house. Now they're buying a house. So it's been very busy for her, which is great. Yeah, it's great for Gianna, huh, Lisa? It's um, been very slow real estate-wise for all realtors, not just her. It's like all realtors have been really, really, really slow. Hey, Doris, congratulations. And um, all of a sudden, the market is really heating up, and it's great timing because she got a, a couple of customers, uh, some family, some uh, previous um, associates, I guess, that she had been talking to about selling their house for a very like years. Um, a lot of things just coming together right now. And uh, she's been super busy, went from like not busy at all for months and months and months to like this will be her fourth transaction within I think a month. It's crazy. Uh, that is it for the handbags tonight, guys. So handbags, wallets, etc. That's it for that. 
Um, I think we got everything that you guys asked for. Oh no, we asked for some comics, didn't you? Let's do some comics. Let's do a few comics. Let's do. I think we could do. I'm trying to keep it under a pound. So if you guys only want to buy a few comics, you don't have to pay too much for postage. But um, I think four is the. We'll try it. We'll do four. We, I think four would be a better deal than when we sell them individually. All right, so let's do this. We'll do these four comics, one money. This right here, X-Men Unlimited, number 44. Oh, I think all of these are bagged and boarded, um, and they are in very nice condition, probably, probably near mint, if not mint. Wolverine number 24. Wolverine number 23. And Wolverine number 22. So John Byrne artwork there. Oh, that one too. Very nice. He's got those four books, okay? Starts at a buck. Oh, really? JG Buyer Sale says I'm retired from real estate. Yeah, that's um, it's one of the reasons Gianna got into that uh, was because she knew she could do it for a long time, you know, um, work for into her later years, you know, that's in or retire early, obviously, be the ideal, but I don't know, we're not like super prepared for retirement. So, Keith won that one. Congrats, Keith, got the first pickup. Congratulations. Um, you know, the real estate. Our previous, previously, well, Jan and I both worked the advertising business, and then when the recession hit, we um, we both went out and got our real estate licenses, thinking that uh, it would just be a better play for um, a career shift so late in life, you know, something that we could do for a long time, kind of like why you want to play golf, you know, because you can do golf for many years if you need to, if you want to, uh, but it, yeah, real estate something that we're hopefully setting up for you know have later in life income but it'd be nice to retire before then but we'll see 37 right here this star wars empire number 37 star wars number 38 star wars 39 and star wars number 40 because obviously this job right here as much as i love it i will not be able to do this for too many more years not the way i do it right now yeah, not until the girls are done the college. That's, a, yeah, that'll hope. Well, then weddings, right? Until the girls are married, then that'll be like our last big expense, I think. Oh, Danny says my grandson takes his real estate exam next week. That's great. All right, Keith won that. Congrats, Keith. Congrats again. It'll be interesting to see, you know, how many younger of the younger generation get into real estate to replace the people who are retiring, right? Um, okay, right here. Ooh, what a neat cover. Wolverine. It's an anniversary event. I'm not sure. That might be a one-off or something. I don't see a number on it. We got Wolverine right here, number 101, number 102, and I guess the power of Vindicator. There. Okay, so those four Wolverines. Let's run it. Yeah, I had got my real estate license. We had planned to get into it at the same time and then we just had this opportunity to come up with our old business the franchise the advertising franchise business we had and then i wound up uh i we both it was we both i left the real estate 100 percent to focus on the advertising business gianna proceeded with the uh, real estate but also was uh very much in the advertising business it took both of us to run that so 
we uh, plans changed and they changed for the better because it wound up being a great op both wound up being great opportunities for us. We took over a couple failing franchises uh, right after the recession. Keith, congrats again on that. And uh, built them up, built them back up, and uh, sold them off. So those wound up being good, good uses of our time. A couple more Star Wars Empire here, number 25, 26, 27, number 30. Another four books there. All right, Ogdad won that one. Congrats. Okay, six bucks. We're going to do one more set here, guys, and we'll get something different. I like to keep it variety so you guys don't get bored. Those that aren't into comics, but we'll do more comics later. Here's the Uncanny X-Men number 458. Uncanny X-Men House of M number 463. 462. And 461. Okay. Running for starting at a buck. Oh, Mojo? Okay. <laughs> You're right, Hunchy Mo. Okay, Ogdad, congrats again. Picked up another great lot there. Okay, now let's do, do you guys have some suggestions as what to do? Let me know, because I want to bring out what you guys want. Mm. We got a lot more coins. Let me do this stuff here. This is a little bit of stuff out of the recent locker. Uh, we got a guess, it's a manicure set here. It's open box, but I don't think it's been used to get the full set. That just popped out because that wasn't out of the place before. Um, we got the guess. We have a set of handkerchiefs from Jeffrey Bean right here. Brand new. Comes in this little faux alligator skin box there. And then we have a handkerchief set from PR Cardan, 100% cotton. It's a few little things from the locker. Starts at a butt. Jackets, okay, thank you. Sign memorabilia. We just have those photos that we already sold. Um, but Friday we'll have a, a little bit more. We'll have that basketball signed by the Golden State Warriors. Fred got that one. Congrats, Fred. Sold for 21 bucks. Okay. Okay, jackets. We'll do this Raiders jacket first. It's a pretty neat piece. Okay. All right, this is a uh, size extra large, as I mentioned before, NFL branded. Okay. 100% cotton shell linings, polyester. And you got this nice, like, uh, fuzzy letters on the patches there. 
And then it's got the Super Bowl 11 patch on the arm here. Super Bowl was it 18 and Super Bowl 15 patches on the arms. I think those are the three Super Bowls they've won. And then on the back side, got this really cool patch right here. It's a very thick, like, uh, I don't know, it's like a fuzzy. I don't know how else to explain it. It's very th thick and soft. It's a neat-looking neat patch. So that one, yeah, that should be good on the weight here. So we'll run that starting at just a dollar. MJ's Boom Boom, what's up? <laughs> he says, that's a banger. That is a nice piece, huh? Uh, the chemo says, must not fit me. I just have, I've got so many dang clothes. Really, I do. I've got constantly, oh, I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep that. And it's like, can't close my drawers, got too many t-shirts. Can't find anything in the closet because they're all jammed in there. I have a lot of clothes. So I'm constantly trying to keep stuff moving, you know. Yeah, Jana's out tonight. MJ, she's uh, working on some real estate stuff. All right, Dolly Jean, J Dolly Jamie just won that, forty-two bucks. Nice pickup. Jana's got some real estate stuff that she had to take care of tonight, and she's like super busy. She's got a customer, a client that is buying a home. They're wrapping up. Uh, I think the listing. I, I'm not the listing. The uh, the offer tonight. And um, she has another client that is selling a home, and that goes on the market this weekend. So this week she's meeting like photographers and doing a broker tour. And then oops, uh, this weekend she's got open houses. Like she's so – this is a very busy week for her. And she's got some other stuff going on this week too. So no – it just – she couldn't make it tonight. That's fine. We're not we're, <laughs> real estate is good for us, you know. Um, this is a Nike windbreaker here. This is a double XL, double XL on this piece. I just thought this is just such a cool piece. The black and yellow. Um, it's got a hood. It's got this nice like pattern to it. Pockets here. Pocket here. That's a neat. This is an, also a really neat jacket. It's got this logo right there. I'm not sure what that stands for. Uh, it's even got some zip ups the sizes here, too. All right. This is a nice jacket. This is probably not cheap. Okay. Double XL. Once again, it's double XL. And we'll start it at a buck. Oh, it's a Kobe. This is a this is a Kobe jacket. Oh, okay. Thank you guys. It, it seems nice. That does seem high quality. Nike stuff's usually pretty nice, but um, this one just seems a little bit even better. Oh, that's his symbol. Okay. Oh, cool. That's <laughs> that's gotta be worth a little bit more, right? I thought that was nice. I went through a lot of this guy's clothes. You know, I had to pull out just a few pieces to put in the auction or bring to a better flea market. Um, there's a lot of clothes, but he had some he has some style. There's this next video in this series that we put out two parts on this locker so far. Part three, which will probably be the final part. Um, I feel like it's crazy. These big tall moving boxes are about this tall. Um on top, garbage bags full of like blankets comforter mattress pad and you pull those off and below that uh garbage bags full of air jordans and other nike shoes i mean like garbage bag full of them and then below that 
another garbage bag full of them in front of that. Another garbage bag full of them. It's crazy. I found so many Air Jordan shoes. It might be the biggest Nike shoe collection I've found. Most of them loose, but there's maybe several with boxes too. Uh, we're in California. Yeah, right about an hour outside San Francisco. So we do find good lockers here, but there's a lot of junk here too. It's not like it's all super great, but um, there's a lot of money here. There definitely is. Real estate's super duper expensive. And um, because of that, I think people maybe pay their lockers. You know, sometimes we find good lockers where people bought nice stuff, but I think for the most part, people also have money here so they don't go delinquent on their lockers, you know? So there's always that give and take. All right, the King B won that, 75 bucks. Awesome, congrats. Yeah, glad that's that you're getting that. That's a nice jacket. This Now this one, we found quite a few of these jackets. I'm gonna try one, see if you guys like this or not. I was not familiar with this brand, Smoke Rise. And this one is an extra large. It's made, what is it? Well, it says Classic USA, but it says Made in China. So it's got these patches on there. Definitely they're cool looking, very sports. Ah, oh, wait a second. This has got a spot right here. Now forget that. I didn't see that. <laughs> forget it. It's not that good. When we want to put it out with spots, you know? I've got other smoke rise ones. I'll find you one that doesn't have a spot for the next time. I don't like selling spots. Now this one, um, this is, okay, the, I do want to mention, I did earlier, the neck on this needs cleaning. This is leather, but you can see it's, de it's dark and all around here uh, from sweat or whatever darkens it, you know. Um, Maybe some dirt and a little bit of sweat mixed in. This is a very high quality jacket here, though. Leather sleeves, and you got the Seattle Supersonics. This this jacket's gotten us quite a few comments in the videos. And what's the brand on it? I don't. What is this brand? J H is what it says. J H. Let me see if we got anything else here. Okay, there's the NBA official license. NBA, 1996. So, made in USA, Aero Leather Care. Um, made in the USA, 1996. This, I got a lot of comments from the viewers on this one saying this is something special right here. So, this is a nice big patch right here. Um, the sleeves are all leather. They look pretty good. It's just around the neck that I think it needs to be cleaned up a bit. Maybe there should be some cleaning on the leather right here. A little bit not much though all right but this is a this is a very interesting jacket see the bottom here I'm hoping we get a little bit of money for this because I I mean we had a comment on it saying that this could be worth up to 600 bucks I don't know guys I don't I didn't research it really much at all it is a double XL right here and again let me just show that collar there make sure you guys are comfortable with that and what's gonna be required to clean it up. Um, yeah, it's a cool jacket. So uh, we'll just, this one is a heavy jacket too, so I'm gonna have to do a five pound rate, flat rate on this one. So MJ says, this is also a banger. I think this is, this is, I was almost gonna save this for our Friday show because the Friday show is kind of a big deal. But we're doing it tonight. Um, and it starts at a buck right now. <laughs> Last one you saw sold in 2012, huh? Wow. Well, I hope there's some decent resale on this. Seventy-five bucks. Becca, Jeremy got it. Congrats. Okay. Congrats. That's a nice jacket. I think you, if you're gonna wear that, you're gonna love it. If you're gonna flip it, I think you're gonna make some money on that. Okay. All right. Let's see, we'll cut on the sports theme. Let's do this 
bobblehead. We got Clay Thompson. Limited edition bobblehead presented by Lucky. I have not even taken this out actually. Ooh, glue is shot on that, so the box is coming apart a little bit. Let me be a little more gentle. I don't think he's ever been out. That's great. Still taped up. Original. There he is. There's Clay. There's the man. Okay. Nothing's torn. It's just the glue starting to separate. And um, let's see. let me weigh it real quick. Clay Thompson bobblehead, Golden State Warriors. There we go, starts at a buck. The year. You know, I don't see a year anywhere. 11th overall pick 2011. That's not that. There's no year on this one. Oh, my goodness. Sold for a dollar. <laughs> Jeez. POP, congrats. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't think it could possibly sell for a dollar. All right, let's do this next batch of DVDs. We only have two batches tonight. So um, this is the second and final batch of Blue Race. Storage Auction Pirates in the house. Storage Auction Pirate, I just sold a bobblehead for a dollar. Somehow I don't think that was a good, good sale for the Locker Nets team here. Don't judge us. Dark Knight, oh yeah, Dark Knight Trilogy. Line side, Bruno, Iron Man 2, that's sealed brand new, Rain Over Me, and just like we did before, guys, this is a five pound flat rate, so if you could just please only bid if you're in the continental U.S., we're sticking together, still got the original tape on there, um, Reservoir Dogs, awesome movie, The Brave One, Law Abiding Citizen, Takers, Righteous Kill, why Did I Get Married, Part 2, The Fighter, Faster, Invictus, The Ruins, Vantage Point, and The Hangover, Unrated Version. Okay. My Bloody Valentine in 3D. Our Family Wedding, 2012. Valentine's Day, this one is also sealed brand new. Safe House, Wizard of Oz, and that is sealed brand new. It's the 70th anniversary edition. That's interesting. We'll be selling a Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon on Friday. Could pair those. They'd go nicely. Medea's Big Family, or Happy Family, First Sunday, Clash of the Titans. And then this is really cool right here, Stallone Rambo set. First Blood, Rambo, and Rambo 3. Or, yeah, not in that order, but all right, get the whole set. So if that counts as one, two, three, four, five, ten. Twenty-seven titles this time. Twenty-seven titles, okay? And we're gonna do a five pound flat rate. So just uh only bid if you're in the US, please, because I think this is over five pounds. Only way I can do it economically is to do use a flat rate box. Okay, it's running. 27 titles. Going for 150 cents each right now. Remember the days when these you go to the store and buy one of these for like 20 bucks? And you just got 27 of them for 25 bucks. Great deal. Beth Bia, congrats.
All right. What do you guys want next? Tell me, tell me what you want to see put up for sale next. All right. And <laughs> tell us what you want, what you really, really want. Uh, in the meantime, we'll do this little fender. Just it's a display piece. It's pretty cool. Little replica fender. And it comes on a nice little stand. All right. And this is the box that it came in. Fender by Axe Heaven. Oh, the box is a little crushed up here. But that's what it is. It's a little mini guitar. Sit on your desk or wherever. Oh, really? Ray Smith had some of these? I didn't I don't remember that. It must have only been in the one that you bought. Or in just in the stuff you got. I never got one of those before. Gibson SG double neck. Okay. Let's start it at a buck. <laughs> um, did I sell a large Victoria's Secret panties lot from Ray Smith? Docker? No, but funny you ask, I did sell two pairs of the Victoria's Secret panties on eBay. Well, I'm not supposed to say that word, but on the bay. And I think they were $75 each or no, $65 each or something like that per pair. Ha! <laughs> and that Ray Smith locker still making money off old Ray Smith years and years later. Mama G won that one. Congrats, Mama G. 21 bucks sold. <laughs> Mom, G, you're funny. Thank you. Uh, what watches? Let's take a look at those watches. Oh, what? No, not. Oh, no. You know what it is, Mike? Um, the photo that we used in the listing showed all the pairs we have laid out. So it looks like a large lot, but we only sold one. You know, we listed them individually. So. Uh, you can buy like one, you know, uh, and we had all the different colors. So we sold two pairs. Same guy bought them though. Two, same guy bought two. So we have this, uh, this is Dockers right here. Dockers. None of these watches are currently running. We can assume that they need new batteries. This also Dockers right here. And this is a Swiss Army brand. This is, it's got the canvas like band there. And then the last one that comes with the box here is Kenneth Cole. That's pretty, that one looks pretty nice. Um, but I don't think we'll do all these together. We'll do them individually. So um, I just want to show you guys what we have. Let's start with this one right here. Let me change the weight. Okay, this one is Dockers digital watch. It looks like it's in good condition, but it is it is pre-owned. It has been worn. It's in nice condition though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start at a buck. Looks like a pretty expensive watch. I mean, it feels quality. It feels like a good watch. Docker is not like terribly high end. Two bucks. Okay. Wow. I thought it was more than that. But um, let's do this Kenneth Cole then. All right. This Kenneth Cole looks to be brand new. Yeah, maybe there's little signs of wear. I can't really tell. It does not look. Doesn't look worn on the face, though. So. 
All right. Well, anyways, if it was worn, it wasn't worn very much. It's a leather band here. And it comes with the box, so we're running it. Starts at a buck. Yeah, we're still selling some of the Eileen Fisher locker. Not much. We have very little left, but it still sells every now and then. And uh, I'm very patient when it comes to that kind of stuff. When I list something for sale, I leave it. Oh, that's the plastic on the back? Okay, that would make more sense, huh? 15 bucks. Lori got it. Congrats. Congrats, Lori. Okay. All right, let me do this. Yeah, clothes take a while. Those vintage lingerie stuff, it's brand new, but it takes a while. But I mean, I've got like one banker box full of Victoria's Secret panties that are like 25 years old or so. And there's probably $1,000 in merchandise in that banker box and it's only half full. It's like, it doesn't take up any room in my garage. I don't, I don't mind letting it sit for years to sell. You know, even if we only sell $500 worth of it a year, I'm patient. I am patient. If you guys want some fragrances? Man, this one's... All right, how about this? I'm going to sell both these together only because... It's um, too expensive to ship just for one. All right, maybe what I'll do is this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to mix it, a few things up here for a nice little lot. Got the Jimmy Choo Man perfume. And you can see it's like... It's more than half full on the Jimmy Choo. And this stuff here, it's been opened. It may be used as Jimmy Choo Man aftershave. Um, so it's not a full bottle. This would not be something you'd want to resell. It'd be something for personal use. Uh, and this Kenneth Cole Black, we'll throw that in. And we'll do these two Yves Saint Laurent shower gel and shave balm. And this one was a shave bomb. All right, so we got some nice stuff here. All for one money. Okay. Starts at a butt. I think the Jimmy Choo's is a little bit expensive. We've got a few more fragrances that we're going to do on Friday also. I know one of them is a Gucci for men. See you, Rick. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, no, we didn't. I didn't sell this Swiss Army uh, watch because the other one went for two bucks, and that's kind of silly. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to go. I mean, the regular watch only sells for two bucks. Uh, I just went with a more expensive watch that sold for fifteen bucks, and that still seems kind of kind of low. Lori got that for nineteen bucks. Congrats, Lori. If stuff sells low, guys, I'll just put it aside and we'll do it a different night or uh, I won't. We'll bring it to the market. I just don't like selling stuff for so inexpensive. Marilyn Blatt's in the house. What's up, Marilyn? What's up? Thanks for being here. Okay. Lori, that was a good pick up there. Next lot here. This one is a Ferragamo, but there's not that much. I'd say there's only like... Maybe 15% in there, Ferragamo. But uh, we do have some nice stuff here. Vince Camuto, aftershave bomb. That one's open. This right here is sealed brand new with the plastic wrap on it. Vince Camuto, I think that's a deodorant. Yeah, that's a deodorant stick right here. Sealed brand new. Vince Camuto. And then we got Dolce & Gabbana Aftershave Bomb. All right. Start that at a buck. Mm. 
we do have um, in the same locker that I found those watches that we just so, uh, sold, a couple of them, we have, uh, I found a box of more watches, and they're better than those. They're better than those. So we'll probably do those next Monday. Next Monday, we'll have a lot more watches. So maybe the ones that, those other two, maybe I'll lot them up with some others or something, but there's some nice watches in there. All right, a doors, congrats again. Okay. Let's see, we have some little trinkets like wooden bowls. We have some glassware that came out of this locker. Actually, we do have a little bit more. I forgot we have a little bit more perfume right here. Oh, geez, that's Chanel right here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Whoops. I forgot I had this other perfume too is in a different place. Kenneth Cole Black. I'm trying to show it. This is full. That is full pretty much to the rim right there. So if it was used at all, it was maybe a couple spritzes out of it, but hard to say. Kenneth Cole Black right there. And that's 3.4 fluid ounces on this one. All right, we're starting it at a buck. This one's full. Do we sell the polo black? I think that one is going to be on Friday. No fishing stuff. Um, so Friday we've got our one hour slot in the whatnot. It's, it's an uh, all day event. And it's called the Great Treasure Sale. So we've been saving up some of our best stuff. We've got those brand new Gucci shoes. We're gonna do that Kenneth Cole Black. I think that's still in the box. Um, there's like three perfumes we put aside. And uh, Fred got that, 17 bucks. Congrats, Fred. Okay, next one, Gold Jay-Z. This one is very hard to tell because you can't see it. Um, but I can hear it and I can feel it splashing around. I'd say it's probably about to hear. It's probably like two thirds full. Gold by Jay Z. There's a. There's not going to be any way to see that though. I'll start at the butt. Oh yeah, those shoes are beautiful. They've never been worn either. There's not a scuff on the bottom. Not not a single scuff. Brand new. Uh, we have more comics and coins tonight too and then friday we'll be doing more comics and coins we won't be selling comics in the lot on friday we will definitely be doing them individually we'll pull out some better books oh this is a little better one huh Thirty-nine bucks sold to driver. Congrats, driver. Okay. And last one. This is I can't hear splashing around. And sprays. I cannot tell if this is completely full or if this is uh, completely empty. It is it's spring. Hey, yeah, I found some good hats, huh? Did we sell the Kuji hat? No, I didn't because they're pretty dirty. They're pretty dirty, but they are nice hats. They need to be clean. 
Oh man, guys, I don't know. I don't know if I feel right about selling this. This is Chanel, but I just can't tell if it's. I think it might be almost empty. It's hard to say. The bottle feels heavy, like it's still stuff in there, but it could just be a thick glass bottle. It's painted. I can't see inside. There's a little bit of spray left, but I think that's only what's in the thing. I think we'll have to pass on that because it could be, uh, it could be empty or close to empty. Any Bijan? Is that a fragrance? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we do have some jewelry. We've got this stuff. Right here. Let's, do, let's do this. I mean, if you guys want this, Jana sold some of this last week. And uh, if you guys were interested in that, these are like... I think they're custom made. I think they bought them off Etsy. There are these little hair clips. A lot of Mickey Mouse type stuff. M Mickey themed. Like this one right here is Mickey themed. Bill. Pretty, pretty nice stuff. That's cool. All hair clips, custom made hair clips. This is from our Land of the Diapers locker. And uh, those people had some money. They might have been a little freaky, but they got money. So you get all that one money. Starts at a butt. Yeah. Hey, coming in to help? No. no. Well, that's rude. It's Camille. <laughs> you like that, Kathy? I don't think Janice still has not even seen it. I don't think she's seen that. I showed the girls because I, I just I'm a little proud of proud of it when I get creative, but I showed them and they thought it was they were mortified. But um, Jana has just told her. I said you you should watch that. It's, you know, I found the perfect way to end it. She's like, "What'd you do?" And I'm like. You gotta just watch it. I don't think she has because I haven't heard anything about it. I'm sure I will if and when. All right, congrats, uh, Kelly Cole. Congrats on that last purchase for all those bows uh, or uh, clips, rather. We got one more lot here, and then we're done on those. It's a little bit more Disney stuff. Paper. I don't think these have ever been worn. They're. I think they're all brand new. I thought there's a Christmas one. Pirates, Cinderella. Looks like another Pirates or something. Giants, San Francisco Giants. Is this a small one on a band here? Another Minnie Mouse. That's a fancy one. And Bell. Okay. So another big lot running for a buck. Camille. Camille. My name is Grace. Oh, Camille just comes here. Camille, say hi. Say hi. Camille wasn't here. Camille wasn't? That was you? <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought it was Camille. No. All right, well, then you come in and say hi. Hi. I think my eyes love me. Oh, it looks ugly. <laughs> Ah, they got me. Thought it was Camille. Yeah, isn't that crazy, Mary Beth? I can't believe they stored them all either. Stored so many. Rick, congrats. Got that one. Um, I still don't know why they had so many. Let's 
I really did think nursing home in the beginning, but not. I, I think they did have a uh, a sick parent, so there was maybe some that were used for real reasons, and then there were some that were used for other reasons, non-real reasons. Okay, this is some journals that I found in this guy's locker early on, and I only put them aside because they're brand new. This one's shrink wrapped right here, shrink wrapped. And I think there are religious themes. He was a, a reverend. So that was shrink wrap. So I can't see what it looks like inside. Here's a Amazing Grace journal. So it's not been, not been written in. All right. Spiral bound. How much is that? Oh, he got for three bucks at Ross. Okay. Guess that wasn't that much money. I, it looks more expensive than that. Here's another journal. Brand new. Nope. <laughs> he wrote on page one. A couple of codes there. And then this one, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians there. This is, I think, a faux leather. But it's a nice looking little journal. That's probably the nicest of the bunch right there. So you're going to get all four journals. Starts at a book. Adult daycare. Yeah, they did. <laughs> the adult pacifier is very strange. So people have been very critical of me and uh, my approach on that. I think a lot of people don't actually watch the videos. They just watch like a few minutes and then comment and have an opinion and get something stuck up their butt about whatever I said or how I acted. But the, um, I guess those adult pacifiers are used for like adult uh, people with autism. So when the autistic kids grow up, there's something about that that does, like, whatever. There's a use for them. Uh, I don't think that's what they used them for. And those photos and the promotional materials suggest that there was other, other uses, you know, um, that they were into. Pooh Buck, congrats on that. Nine bucks, nice pickup. But um, if I hadn't found that, that – uh, advertising material inside one of the boxes i would never have thought that they were using it for some weird you know weird reasons how about these uh concert books right here i think these are pretty dang cool i only because of the advertising stuff i think they were buying them from you know strange websites and using them for strange things so. <laughs> i don't know but i've got some really weird comments people upset with me for whatever reason but so if you don't, you know, if you can't handle being upset, you certain sure, certainly shouldn't be watching my videos because I'm gonna figure out some way to upset you. Kansas, not because I'm ill-meaning, just because I'm an idiot sometimes. The Who here from 1980, official official program from the concert. Look at this, pretty cool stuff. Huh. Neat. Okay, then we got Journey World Tour. Nineteen seventy nine copyright. This is neat. Love it. Probably ten bucks each at the concert back then. That was like a lot. What was this? I didn't get the year on this one. Uh, this photo is from 1977, but I'm not sure why they're making it so hard to find the dates. There's no uh, copyright date on this one. Strange. All right. And then ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. If you guys want these, I'll do all this as one lot. Again, I don't know the date. I can't find it. I'm not sure why they made it. So they probably did it so that they didn't sell them all. They could keep selling them the next year. So they didn't date them. Um, but I would say that's probably also late 70s, early 80s for sure. Okay, started a book.
Yeah, I thought so too. When you find a flyer like that, I think you can you can kind of call it, right? <laughs> you should be cleared to call it. Yeah. Oh, really? Mama G's been a member on our YouTube channel of the Locker Nuts. 48 months. Isn't that crazy? Hey, Tamara, how's it going? Thanks for being here. It's going very well. Gianna's got some other stuff going on tonight. So she's uh, she's not here, but it's all right. We're just running a little slower, but we're running. Calvin just picked that one up for 25 bucks. That was a nice pickup. This is some cool stuff. Okay. I'm on a little glassware. We got this little birdie right here. Oh, wait. Let me change it. Change the weight. Get it down a little bit. I think he's a little, yeah, he's a little birdie. Blue glass. Um, I don't see any, like, uh, maker marks on it. Nothing. I think there's a, maybe a little scuff. See that little spot right there on his head? And I think it's a scuff, not a crack or chip, but a little scuff. So it might be polish it out. He's cute. All right, we'll start him at a butt. Possibly Sweden. <laughs> Kathy, that's funny. We're not even on the YouTube there, but you guys still supporting us there, and I really appreciate that. I mean, we're on YouTube, but we're not doing the auctions there anymore. Um, maybe at some point we'll, we'll do one there, but Whatnot's just got such a great platform for it. It moves so quick, and with the shipping and everything built in, it's just it's just been a great a great way to move this stuff. All right, cat lady got that thirteen bucks. Congrats to you. Some of this stuff, you know, Jenna was originally planning to be here tonight. She only called it, called it off, and then she was only gonna be here for the first hour or so, and then she called it off because something else came up. So, uh, some of the stuff she was. She has way more information. Some of the stuff's the first time I'm looking at it. So, uh, like this little box here. It's a wood box painted. So there used to be a tag there um, with some metal work on top that's been decorated there. The frog it looks cool. Now the matching wood box here. This one's got a little bit of scuffing on the bottom and then also the, the price tag probably. Looks like it's long gone. But these are neat little wood boxes, especially if you like the frogs, and as some of you do, it's cool. So those two together. What's the word? Says MV Warehouses of Treasure. I don't know. The word is it is Monday. We're slinging some new locker finds here. Uh, Friday, we're going to have an, another auction. We've done two, two this week. We don't usually do two per week because it just gets to be so much for my schedule to keep up with all this. But uh, three-wheeler got it. All right, congrats. Five bucks sold. Uh, but Friday is a big event that Whatnot's putting on. It's called the, Tre the Great Treasure Sale, and we've been invited to be part of it. We get a one-hour slot during the day. And um, we're bringing some pretty good stuff. We're bringing some of our best recent finds. All right. Um, well, let's see. 
I love all these glass things. Eesh. The weight on this stuff is it's heavy stuff. It's nice quality, but it's heavy. Um, any new units working on? Uh, I, this week I was not feeling great, so I didn't get very much done this week. This right here came out of that pastor's. Uh, he's a pastor and a reverend. This came out of his locker. It's one of those laser hologram glass pieces. This one's a little bigger than normal, um, so it's a little heavier. We'll start it at a buck. I worked on this locker this week, went through more stuff. As I said earlier, I found a bunch of men's watches, nice stuff. I also found a bunch of um, Nike or Jordan shoes. <laughs> That's going to be fun. They're all size 11 through 12. All right. Lee, Lee, Lady Brenda got it for 15 bucks. Congrats. Oh, the, the locker is getting canceled. I haven't had too much problem with that. I, don't, I, I see a lot of that talk on the Facebook groups, you know. Um, let's see, this one's a much smaller. Let me lighten the weight because it won't be as heavy. Okay. It looks like we've got the last supper or something going on here. Pretty cool. All right. Starts at a buck. Yeah, I've not had too many canceled on me, but I've been buying more at the live auctions recently. Yeah. It seems, it seems to me to happen in, in waves. Like I'll get a couple and they'll get canceled at the last minute. I'll be bidding on the cancel. Sometimes right after you buy it, the cancel. Yeah, I haven't had any trouble with that lately. But um, I do buy pretty close and I do boogie over there like as soon as it closes and pay. So it can minimize that. But sometimes the managers, they already pay, but the managers don't cancel it. So until it closes and they get you excited, then they cancel it because they're like, oh, I never canceled that. Um, no pocket knives tonight. No. Anita San Sanita Samporto, congrats to you. Picked up that nice little cube there. Oh, you don't have any live auctions anymore at all? Geez, that sucked. Okay. Uh, we we have a fair amount still. I mean, not like we used to. We used to have tons, but we still have a fair amount. Like I could go to probably about one a week within you know a decent amount of range. This is another. I think this is. I don't I think it might be okay. Wait. Right here. It's towel. T-O-W-L-E or Tally or and it's um made in Poland. 24% leaded crystal. And what else does it say? Handmade or something? Uh, not handmade. Hand cut. So T-O-W-L-E is the maker on this one. You got a nice cross right there. Starts at a buck. I got one at a live auction a couple weeks ago. I, I showed it. It was uh, two auctions ago. I showed the Tonka Winnebago. It's like a 1970 Tonka truck, but it's a Winnebago RV. Really cool piece. I got that out of it already. I have not been, I've rented that one for a month. I haven't been back because this week I had some health troubles. How tall is it? Let me see. Well, I don't know what Jenna did with the tape measure. 
I know she didn't put it back. Nine inches. Sorry, that came a little bit late. Can't find the tape. Oh, there it is in the closet because that's where it goes. Just kidding. It doesn't go there. Never, never was supposed to go there. All right. All right. All right. That one, Anita, congrats again to you. Beautiful piece. And then we've got one more. This one is actually two parts. Thank you so much, Mama, Mama Lisa. Appreciate it. I feel much better. It's just a muscle. I had a muscle tear in my chest, which of course makes me start to freak out, right? This one comes in two pieces. Jenna thinks it's a candle uh, stick holder. So you put the, the tall candles, I forget what they're called. I put that in there. And this one is also by T the towel, T-O-W-L-E. There's the engraving right there. Towel, same as the last one. And then, uh, so you put the tall candle there and then put that over it here. And I think, oh yeah, this one also has right there, towel, lead crystal, 24% lead crystal, made in Poland. So another really nice. Um, yeah, I did lose a bunch of weight. But unfortunately, I think the, the heart stuff was from uh, bad eating habits before all that. They, they say it took years to accumulate the buildup in my arteries. So uh, I felt great when I lost the weight, but doesn't doesn't uh, solve the, uh, the heart uh, blockage. Once you've got it, once you got your veins all blocked up, I don't think they really get unblocked. So caught up with me but since then i put a little bit of weight back to it. it's been very difficult because of the blood pressure medication and the blood thinners they slow your metabolism down make you tired so it's been hard to not put on some more weight uh i'm very very hopeful i get off these meds at some point but uh right now it's over uh five months believe it or not it's been five months since the surgery just about a couple more days and uh at the six month marker, I think they're going to evaluate if I can get off some of these medications. They suck. Yeah, I did not eat very healthy. So it's not, it's not that big of a, uh, you know, before, before eating healthy and losing weight, you know, I, mean, I ate a lot of fast food, a lot of fast food. A lot of guys in this business do. All right, Anita, congrats again to you. That one sold for 56. Those are some nice pieces. Okay. All right. Okay, next up, I got some little books here. I don't know if these are little Bibles or prayer books or what. Well, not this one. It's the United States Constitution. Miniature, post miniatures, it says. It's a little tiny Constitution book. There's some old boxes. That, that's not for that. That's, I think that's for this one here. Look at that. It says Great Brit Britain. New Testament. Yeah, it's a little tiny Bible. I don't see a date. It's cool. I don't know. It says French Morocco right here. I don't know if that really has to do. Oh, leather lined round corners, red under gold edges. That might be for this. Cool. Okay. That makes it a little more interesting. My God and My All, a prayer book for children. I mean, it's even got some writing. No, that's a card inside. Okay. That looks a little bit older. And then the last thing, New, New Testament, another Bible right here. A little mini Bible. That's cool. Okay, so we get... 
Let's get in the frame here. We've got four little books, two Bibles, a prayer book, and the United States Constitution. And we'll start it up. up. Oh, yeah, three. St I drink one Starbucks a day. And it's so expensive. If I get a Starbucks and a sandwich, it's like 12 bucks. How do I zoom out like that? I got to... Um, we're running this through uh, um, OBS. OBS is software. Yeah, that's where we're using OBS. So the ca I've got a camera app on the phone, which basically turns your phone into a, a camera. I think it's called OBS camera or something like that. And it um, gives me a little bit more functionality than when we run whatnot straight through the phone. All right, six bucks on that. Anita, congrats. Good pickup. All right. Do a little bit more coins. Okay, this time 2004 Platinum Edition. So this is another one of those with the platinum coating over the quarters. Platinum set, and that is, uh, let's see, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, and Wisconsin on that one there. Starts at a butt. Oh yeah, the on the left locker. That one, that, you're going way back. That's one of our earliest ones that I filmed. That was some great stuff. And we weren't even doing live auctions then. Oh, that Kermit doll is so cool. I kind of wish I'd kept that. But a lot of Disney Lennox pieces. In this one, this recent locker, I found a, a very large Lennox Disney piece, and it reminded me of that locker because that one had tons of that stuff. Ivan got it. What's up, Ivan? Congrats, congrats. All right. Um, I don't know if anybody wants this, but we picked up one of these handheld um, cassette recorders, Olympus. Pearl, Pearl Quarter S724. And I put new batteries in it, and it works. Testing, testing, testing. We're doing a whatnot test live right here. Testing, 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 testing. Mm, that was early testing. Testing, testing, testing. We're doing a whatnot test live right here. There you go. Works. Tested works. And uh, comes with some fresh batteries too. <laughs> Starts at a buck. Oh, Ivan says I wore out three of those when I was doing fire investigations. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeff got it for eight bucks. Congrats, Jeff. Okay, next up, we'll do another set of coins here. 2004 Philadelphia Mint Edition. And there's our COA. And there's our coins. 2004. Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Okay. Starts at a butt.
Oh, you know what, uh, the King V? I have not sent my comments in for grading yet. Judith got that one. Congrats, Judith. Um, right when we got them back from, because we had them, we had a handful of them uh, cleaned and pressed, and then right, right before we got them back, that whole big scandal thing came out. So I said, "Oh man, I don't know what to do now. I feel like they, they probably should change the." The um, the next set right here, 2001 Denver, COA, and this one's got New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Kentucky. Um, so start to the buck now. Uh, we I said, you know, you didn't hear about that scandal, so so people had figured out how to open the cases, the PSA uh, and the uh, CGC cases. They figured out how to open them. And then they took the books out, swapped them in with another book, and then they would send them in to get recased because they came out with new cases with like optional fancier labels. So they said, hey, we'll give you a new case, and it's like 15 bucks, or I don't know what the cost was. It's very minimal. So people were popping them open, taking their, you know, like 9.8 with the Mark Jeweler insert or whatever, and then they're slapping in like a, you know, whatever, 9.4 with no insert. And or missing pages. I mean, they can put anything in there, put them in, sending them back in for PSA and PSA would not grade them the second time. So they wouldn't take a closer look. They were just basically give them a fresh case. And, uh, it's purely, they offer that service for aesthetics because they have different labels now. And, um, uh, then those guys were reselling that stuff. And so there's some guys online that caught on to it and busted them. I mean, out of them and, it's a kind of a big deal. So I thought like oh, CGC needs to probably figure out a tamper proof, uh, which, you know, a, a true tamper proof case and, uh, or do something. I think what they're doing now is they're high res scanning the book so that you can go up and probably be able to look up when you are bidding on something, look up, make sure that the comic book looks like it matches, um, the one that was graded. So, I don't know, but as it, as it appears, they're not going to be coming out with a new case anytime soon, so I probably need to send them in. But that's what put me on pause for a second. This right here is a uh, portable DVD player. So, um, tested works. Works great, actually. It's a nice little unit by Sony, and it comes with two power plugs. It's not battery-operated. So there's no battery um, option, but you get a wall plug and then you get, this has never been open, but I believe this is a, uh, for your cigarette lighter. So you can use it in the car. And what's this? I don't know. That's a USB cord, which doesn't even go to this. So disregard that. That was just in with the cords, I guess. You get two different power cords, and you get the nice little Sony. The model on this, if you want to know, is DVP-FX750. Worth a little bit of money. And all these portable DVDs ha have some value. So um, let me put the weight up. And it's, it comes in pink. So that's the color you were looking for. Here you go. We'll do some jewelry next, guys. Hopefully, I guess people that want some jewelry. Um, most of it's nine two five silver. Oh, SGC does a high def picks. Yeah, that makes that makes so much sense, right? Just for security. All right, that's old. Ingelin, Ingelin, congrats. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but 
Congrats to you. Nice pickup. All right. Okay, let's do some of this jewelry here. Turn the lights down, get some mood lighting going. Okay. And, all right, let's start out with the ring. Okay. Looks like we got an amethyst here. Looks like an amethyst. Just shy of a nine. It's a, I'd say that's the size nine, but it's on the smaller side. Pretty cool. Design a little different. I'm not sure what that says right there. There's our 95 mark right there. Right here. All right, we're gonna start that at a dollar. Just, just on the smaller side of a size nine, 95 silver. Okay. We could use a little cleaning too. That's got a little patina on the silver. Or just wear it, it'll come right off. All right, Camille. Yeah, see you Friday. We promised to put on a good show on Friday. All right, Alyssa, congrats. 19 bucks sold. This is uh, where we'll s slow down a little bit, guys, because it goes so much faster with two hands, or two sets of hands, rather. I got two hands. But two sets of hands, one to bag while the next one's showing the next piece. It'll slow us down a little bit, but I'll try to keep this going as best as possible. This one is a little bit smaller here, six and three quarters. Looks like another amethyst, another 925 silver ring. And the Marcus Heights. All right, starts at about. Uh, Mr. Baisala, what's up, Brian? He says, I ended early so I could come watch Locker Nuts. <laughs> well, thank you. Hope you had a good show. Nick Knapp, thank you. Oh, you have, your, you have your first show tomorrow. All right, well, good luck with that. I hope it's a big success. Mary Baglin, what's up, Mary? Mary says she just subscribed to Mama G. Awesome. Mama G's got a show tomorrow night. Lori's got that one for 31. Congrats, Lori. All right. More silver coming up. Junkyard Barbie said, nice show, nice set. Thank you so much. Yeah, we try to bring good stuff. I mean, it's... Uh, not easy. Go through a big storage locker, and it's like we're pulling out seriously, like maybe two to five percent of the stuff that makes makes it into our auctions. Maybe you know, maybe. Oh, uh, Brian, thank thank you. I, I'm doing much better. Last week I was in a lot of pain, and it turned out I had a chest 
a, like a deep chest muscle tear. So probably trying to do too much. There's a six and a half right there with what appears to be a pearl. That's beautiful. Um, but I went to my cardiologist and he said the tear was not anywhere near the surgery area. There we go. 95 sterling. It says S T E R. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> he's like, you should try to not lift heavy stuff. And I'm like, well, it's kind of my job, you know? And he's like, yeah, okay. And he's just like, he offered to write me a letter to give my boss, you know, <laughs> but, and he's like, is there any chance you can stop doing it? I'm like, not really. He's like, okay. So it's not any danger. It's just painful. Oh, good. Mary's, Mary says her daughter loved the jewelry she got from me. <laughs> I can write a letter myself. I know. He said, oh, I, you know, he's like, well, then your wife's, if you're self-employed, that means your wife's the boss. All right. May Keith, again, Keith, congrats and thank you. Um, I mean, since the surgery and everything, I have definitely hired more help than I ever have before. We had our son, son-in-law doing a lot of stuff for me, especially right when I was recovering. And at the flea markets, you know, I rely on a couple of the guys to do most of the work when I'm out there because usually my role is to give pricing and take money, and they do mostly unloading. Um, let's see, what was this? That's kind of cool. It's got gold on the, probably like a gold plating on this portion. And the rest is 95 silver. This looks old. Like it looks worn right here. This is cool. Let's see what size this is. Just a little bit over six, like eh, six and a quarter. This one definitely looks older. But, you know, going through lockers and stuff because of the way I do it, which is usually a pretty slow process. I go very slowly. I film. I take breaks. I'm not getting enough light in here to show the inside. Yeah, there's a little bit of it. I started at a buck. Um, Gianna does most of the testing with the jewelry because I'm – I just don't have a lot of time to be in this room. Some of this jewelry we source elsewhere too. Like we will buy some, some of the jewelry we buy, like we buy out of States and stuff. And um, sometimes when we go through like a middle party, they will do the testing for us as part of the price. Um, the best acid test, I don't think it really matters. Keith, congrats, got that one for 14 bucks. Um, I think you just go to Amazon and buy one of those acid kits. I don't really think there's a bad one out there. I think they're fundamentally all the same. And they're cheap too, they're not that much money. They just take a, it takes a while to get used to the testing process, but it's not that difficult. And there's tons of YouTubes out there. Yeah, Mom G taught us that trick. She likes to use the 18 karat gold acid to test for silver because it turns blue. It makes it really easy to see. All right. Let's see. This is a pretty one. Look at this. I don't know what kind of stone that is. Gianna would probably know, but she's not here. Gianna no a key. Eight and a quarter on this one. Yeah, 20 bucks on Amazon for a, a test kit, a, a acid test kit. It's not much, right? This is very pretty. All right, we started a book. Yeah, it's the electronic, it's the gem tester that costs a little bit. It's like, I don't know, 300 to 350 or so. I think ours was the Presidium. I think we have Presidium 2. Uh, There's like 300 to 350 around there. The gem tester. that um, You don't really need that as much. The, the, the acid test would come first, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah, jewelers want a lot, huh? All right, Kim got that one. Congrats, Kim. Gianna does the, uh, oh, I got this piece from my grandma, and I'm not even sure it's real. Can you tell me if it's real? You know, <laughs> can't use that trick too many times. But for the good pieces that we really do need to know, uh, she uses that one with the jewelers and just goes into a different jeweler next time. They'll take a look at it. They won't give you any kind of written stuff, but they'll at least let you know. All right, how's this one? Those are just cubic zirconians. And this looks gold because it's 925, so it's got a gold plating. So, vermeil. This is a vermeil piece, gold plated silver. So it is silver. You can kind of see a little patina on it because of that. I think patina is coming through the gold. But you got gold plated silver with the cubic zirconians. And this one is a size eight and three quarters. And it starts at a butt. Games, toys, or DVDs. We did have DVDs tonight. We sold them already. But no games or toys tonight. The DVDs were all Blu-rays, and they went really cheap, too. Mama G takes the gold to the pawn shops. If they want it all, it's real. <laughs> Ingelon, congrats. Okay. Any more coins? We do. Yeah, we do. We've got I've got quite a few sets. At least half a dozen more sets. We can do that after the jewelry. Because I don't have that much to do tonight, really. Um, we have a couple of random things, but... We don't have that much tonight, and that's fine because Jana wasn't here. So what's left tonight? we got the coins. We have some little wood bowls and little, I don't know, miscellaneous type stuff. Uh, Minnetonka boots, like women's boots. that They look like, like uh, moccasins. This one right here is a size six and three quarters. And it's got a big old stone. I don't know what kind of... I don't know what that is. It could just be a glass stone. Gianna probably tested it. I asked her to fill me in on any jewelry, but I think we forgot to have that discussion before she left. So I don't think that's anything like amazing. It's a pretty cool piece though. It's different. Starts at a buck. Still is 925 silver. Mad Bars Resale, been watching your YouTubes for a long time, started on whatnot, hearing about it in your videos. Now Wednesday will be my third auction. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Congrats to you. Takes a little while to get going here, but whatnot definitely is a, a great platform for selling our stuff. All right, England, congrats again. Yeah, we sell more stuff on whatnot than anywhere now. I mean, flea markets or on the bay or anything. Those, those just don't compare. We sell most of our most of our money. Uh, Selling comes from what not. There's a beautiful ring. And reselling is still our primary income. You know, we do YouTube, Facebook. We get a little money off of the video revenue with those places, but nothing like, you know, we still support ourselves off of reselling. And whatnot's our main source now. So we, uh, I that means whatnot. What was that? I do I didn't even pay attention. It's size eight. 925 silver. 
whatnot is our primary way of making money. Number, let's see, uh, 925 silver right here, size 8. In a Sega Game Gear, no, not tonight. Good night, Karen. Thanks for being here. All right. England, congrats again. Old But Money says, thank you, Jack. Love your videos. Awesome. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I think we're going to have another one out tomorrow. Oh, no. I've got Brandon who does our editing now. I don't edit that much, and um, which is great because I can spend more time in, in the lockers, you know, buying more lockers. Let's see. Here's just a band right here. Size 7. Just a silver band. Very basic, very simple. Starts at a buck. And I think our next one's coming out tomorrow. That was the plan. So you guys like uh, the videos on YouTube tomorrow? Wait, what is this thing? All the love. Huh. So it says all the love is inscribed inside this one. <laughs> one ring to rule them all. No invincible comics. I don't think I've ever come across one. Keith, congrats. Um, I've never come across one in any locker. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I think you qualify, Brian. You're you're nuts. You're bona fide nuts. All right, here's one more band. Silver. This one is a size ten and three quarters. All right, starts at a book. There's a 925 on there, but this one's not inscribed inside. Any gold tonight? No. I've got one piece of a, a gold necklace. I think it's a 14K white gold with a tanzanite stone, and I might do that on Friday. It's a necklace. <laughs> Mama G is fine. She just hangs out with nuts. Keith, congrats. Yeah, it almost does look like the last one, huh? Maybe like a men's version. Maybe like a husband and wife or something might have it too. It could be. Okay, next up. I got to get the tape measure out of the closet. But this one. Oh, funny. It looks like it says mom. Or it says wow. I think it says mom. Okay, and I think those are probably cubic zirconians there. Okay. And that looks like a size. I don't think it's seven three quarters, maybe. I think seven three quarters. All right, seven three quarters silver. Great gift for mom. I think Mother's Day is coming up, so no excuses. Oh.
Oh yeah, that cross necklace that was 14k. It was. I I was like, nah, I don't know. And then I saw that you know it had the the little uh, engraving or whatever on it, 14k. But it's just I was like, uh, I've been faked it so many times. You know, we find gold marked 14k, but it's not. But that in the last cross I found years ago, wound up being fake. Uh, this one was fully legit. We brought it to the our gold buyer, and I think I got 200 bucks for it. <laughs> Crazy. Mr. Buys a lot bought that. All right. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, send to Mama G. Okay, I'll do that. Wait, let me write it down. Very nice of you. Thank you, Brian. Brian, you need a hat? I'll get you a hat. Locker nuts cap. I'll send that instead. How's that? All right. All right, cool. <laughs> that'd be all. That'd be even better. That's a win for me. This man, this look a little bluish to be amethyst, but like I said, Jana may have checked these stones, but she's not here. May not be amethyst. Might be something different. Marcasite's in here. Dang, that's nice. Really nice piece. 925. That's cool. And this one. That's also a seven three quarters. It makes sense. Probably the same owner. Looks like it's a little adjustable, two notches there. All right. And 925 with a, I'm not sure what stone that is, but it looks pretty nice. Starts at about. All right, Lori, congrats. That was a beautiful piece. Very nice. Okay, next, this is the last piece of silver we've got tonight. And this is a necklace. It is the gold plated silver like we had before, the Vermeer. So we've got 925 silver with a gold plating over it. That's why it says 925. Um, and this, nice chain. Okay, let's see. I'd say that's a 30 inch chain. 30 inch because it, we're losing some space here. I think it's 30 inch. Big boy. That is a big boy, isn't it? Nice looking chain. Verme gold plated silver, 30 inch, starts at a buck. Good night, Mary. Congrat uh, thanks for being here. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you at Mom G's show tomorrow night. Do we ship to Northern Ireland? Yes, I think so. If you are able to bid on it, then it definitely will ship to you. It's all done through Whatnot's program here. So they wouldn't let you bid if it doesn't ship there. 
So, um, but in, make sure you check the shipping cost, and it will be in there. There'll be no surprises. They'll they'll tell you how much it costs because international shipping is a bit more. But um, you'll be able to see that, so you can decide if it's worth it. This, stuff like this doesn't weigh too much. Heavier stuff would be a little bit more expensive. All right, Keith got that. Congrats, Keith. Nice piece. Okay, last jewelry. We'll do these three together. I think this is a uh, cloisonne. Maybe um, is that count? I don't know. They're definitely metal with enamel over it. I think that's what it is. Okay. Starts at a butt. We're gonna sell all three together. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be, I got to go finish cleaning out the reverend's unit and um, I can, I can fit it all in my trailer. Wednesday I'll go to the flea market, blow it all out. And then Thursday, maybe as early as Thursday, that unit I bought a couple weeks ago uh, with the vintage Tonka trucks in it. Uh, I think I might start tackling that one. So we'll see. Yutif won that one. Yutif, congrats. Congrats. All right, that's it for our jewelry tonight. We've got more coins. I'll grab some coins right now. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, how about another set of these? This one says 31 State D quarter set, Del Delaware, California. All right. Okay, it starts at a buck. You are still selling trains. I mean, I sell them. I sell quite a few every week, and um, I still have a lot of them that post. I've I've not really been listing very much lately. I've just been so busy keeping up with these auctions and keeping up with the lockers. Been buying a lot of lockers. Yeah, that really those. Uh, like I was getting my hair cut today, and the 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 gal cut my hair is like. So what's like most amazing thing you found? You know, like the trains are always the story I tell because it's it's just incredible. Keith won that. Congrats, Keith. Okay, we'll do one more set here. I don't know if these are any if there's any difference to these, or if they're all the same. Thirty one state D quarter set, Delaware, California. I think it's more of the same as what we just sold. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing, like a really good locker, how it can like set you up for literally years. Uh, I mean, this can't be my sole income for years, but we can make money off one really good locker for years. We were talking about that earlier. Still selling some of the uh, Eileen Fisher locker. You know, it's like a good locker is really pay out for a long time. Good stuff. Very, very hard to find them, but... You can. Hey, Tanya, what's up? Thanks for being here. Jamma's out tonight. That was one funky reverend. I know he was uh, quite the dresser. Hey, Doris got that one. Congrats. Quite the dresser, this guy. Snazzy dresser. 31 state D quarter set. I think it's also just like the ones that we just sold. 
Do you want this is the last set I've got? At least tonight. I think it might be the last set that we have too. No, oh, Sadie says I've been following you since the train locker. I know that was incredible. When we we put that train locker out, we passed the hundred thousand mark subscribers on YouTube, and then we passed the two hundred thousand mark subscribers. That train locker was a, just such a huge deal, not just the financial gain of having all those expensive trains, but also what it did for us on YouTube, you know, it really changed everything. Oh, Posh Rags is rating us with a party of four. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate that. We're selling some coins right now. M. Huddle just won that set. Congrats to you. Let's do a little giveaway as we're selling some more coins. And I got this Gumby right here. Gumby toy that I found in the locker. And it's from 1989. We'll start that. If you guys want to join that giveaway, I'll put him up in the corner here. You can just peek out of this. It'll be for just for fun. You can win a 1989, which that doesn't seem that long ago to me, honestly. <laughs> but I know it was a while ago. It's kids these days are like, that was so long ago. It's like, no, nah, it actually wasn't 2007 right here with the COA quarter mint set here uh, from Denver. I mean, it's a Denver. Uh, Mint, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah on that set here. Case made in China, okay. I guess, I guess it has to be. All right, we're going to run it. Starts at a buck. Have you sold all the jackets from the Reverend Locker? No, but we sold a few of them tonight. I think we just sold uh, three of them tonight, including that Seattle Supersonics jacket and the Raiders jacket. But we'll do more clothes next time because uh, there's a fair amount of really nice clothes in there. Cheeky D, congrats. All right. Okay. Congrats. Jewelry tonight. Ah, oh, dang it. We just finished the last piece, like right before we went back to coins. Yeah, we had some silver. So no more, but we're doing another show on Friday, and it's a big deal because it's uh, Whatnot's putting on this thing called the Great Treasure Sale. And we are one of the one of the people that were invited to participate in it. We've got a one-hour slot starting at 4 p.m., and there, I mentioned earlier, we might do one gold piece. It's a gold, beautiful white gold chain with the Tanzanite stone. Beautiful piece. We'll probably do that on Friday, 2001. There's the COA. This is a gold edition, so that means these are um, gold plated. And these, uh, this one's, there we go. These have not ever been handled, I don't think, since they were packaged by the manufacturer. 2001 gold set. So you see they, they're all plated with gold. New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Kentucky. Starts at a buck. Yeah, Friday, we're going to have some really good stuff. We got a brand new set of women's shoes um gucci shoes and i think they're size 40. i haven't figured out what that translates to but i'm sure we can look at it really easy uh brand new never even worn not one single scuff on the bottom i've got some men's air force ones we've got some men's like alligator shoes fancy dress shoes that's some really cool stuff do we have a heat ruby i don't think so is that a special type of ruby i'm not familiar with it um, Cheeky D got that one. Congrats. Friday. The, yeah, Friday's going to be exciting. Next up is similar to the last one we did. This one's 2007. You know, I'll just leave it in there. It's, it's just like the last one. We got gold plated quarters, um, but the last one was 2001. This one's 2007. Starts at a buck.
Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, gotcha. That was some sort of special Ruby. <laughs> Good night, Kathy. Oh, not feeling great. Oh, I hope you feel better. Definitely don't like to hear that. Okay, Keith won that one. 27 bucks. Congrats. Okay, next up, we got 2001. Oh, and we're giving away this Gumby right here. 1989 Gumby goes to M. Huddle. Congrats. Can't remember what Gumby's supposed to sound like. All right, and then here's the COA. 2001 Philadelphia Mint, and here are the coins. Starts at a buck. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was high-pitched. Oh, no, Mr. Hayden. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. Cheeky D got another congrats. I remember watching that on Saturday Night Live when I was a kid, and I just think back, and I'm just like... What was I doing watching Saturday Night Live when I was a little kid? <laughs> 2007. COA. Probably why I have such a twisted sense of humor now. I remember, you know, the Steve Martin, Chevy Chase. I remember those guys. I mean, watching as a kid, them being in it, on the cast. It was pretty pretty funny as a kid, but I didn't get a lot of the humor, but I got enough of it. Um, and we're starting at a buck right now. This is our last set tonight, guys. 2007 Platinum. Oh, yeah, so these are the ones that are platinum plated. So they're plated in platinum. They look almost like a regular coin, but they're not. I didn't get too damaged anyways. I'm mostly funct functioning as a adult. <laughs> Jana might say different. Oh boy, what else are we gonna do here? All right, who got that? Keith got it. Congrats, Keith. Get that back in there. How about we do this bowl right here? Let me show it to you. It looks like it's been, um, it's hand painted. A couple of giraffes on there. The beautiful piece. All right, so wood bowl. Unknown, really. Don't know where that came from. Like it was from Africa or what? I don't know. Um, we don't really have any information about it, so just that it's in excellent condition and looks like a nice quality piece. We'll start it at a buck. Jinxy Purple, hello, thanks for being here. Mama Treasures, hello. Thanks for popping in, you guys. We appreciate it. I am a little twisted, huh, Mama G? I am, I am. Guilty as charged. All right, Jinxie Purple won it. 13 bucks, congrats. Yeah, we're all a little twisted, huh? It takes a, it takes a twisted lot to turn the world. Okay. I don't know. Do you guys want more of that kind of stuff? Got a, 
a couple little more random pieces. We're getting a little low here. We we didn't have a, too much planned tonight, which worked out great because Jana couldn't be here anyway. So uh, I survived in the 70s in New York City. <laughs> that must have been pretty wild to grow up there. A lot different, huh? This is another painted wooden piece here. A little bowl. You know, a, a bigger bowl. Looks like a little wear right here through the paint. And I think they I think they're supposed to nest like that, but I don't know for sure. It looks like they they could. Starts at a buck. Jeff says the giraffe bowl could have been rosewood. I think I think so. It felt like it could be. We've had a few rosewood pieces before. Jinxie Purple, congrats. Pick that one up for 15. Okay, now this piece here. Very beautiful piece. Neat scene on it. This is cool. And um, here's the marking on it. Spode's Italian, Copeland, England. It's got like number 957 or something on there. So Spode's Italian, isn't that supposed to be pretty nice? I think. Tanya says Spode's nice. All right, good. Just want to bring nice pieces. And it doesn't matter if it's nice, we're starting at a buck. It could be nice, it could be ugly, it could be expensive, it could be cheap. We start everything, most everything at a buck. All right, Keith got it, 25 bucks. Congrats, Keith. Okay. Okay, one more little piece here. Decor piece. This is a little bit lighter though. Um, I think this is some sort of ceramic or something. I don't know anything about it, though, really. I think it's just decorative. Seems ceramic. Started a buck. Almost looks like a little teapot or something, but it's not. South America, perhaps, says Tanya. Good night, Keith. Thanks for being here.
Driver picked it up for five bucks. Congrats. All right. Okay, I think we got one, maybe one more decorative thing. This thing right here, a little tray or something with like mother pearl or something right here. And huh. mean pong made in Vietnam. This piece right here, a little tray. It's got a little number here. I'm not sure why it's like a label. I think they'll come right off it. It's a it's just a sticker basically. But there you got the mother pearl. I don't. I'm not sure exactly. This is kind of stuff Jana might have a little bit more info on, but whatever. It's gonna take a big box. So do one pound on it. Start it in a butt. What's it made of? This is, uh, I think, some sort of lacquered wood or something. That's what it looks like. Yeah. All right, three bucks, cheeky D. Okay. Get burnt. Oh, this is it. I forgot about this piece. <clears throat> okay. This piece, we'll have to do a, fi a five pound on it because it's, it's heavy and I'll have to box it up proper. This came out of a recent locker. I don't remember which one. I don't remember which locker, but this is a frame piece. I think this is plexiglass right here, but nice frame. And um, look at this ebony pair. Car from ebony wood in Malawi, made in South Africa. So that's kind of neat. Ebony wood. That's, that's a cool piece. Got a couple of African hand carved pieces. A nice looking frame, nice display on it. And uh, we'll start at a buck. No sports cards tonight. Yeah, we haven't. Uh, we did some, I think, the last couple weeks, but we don't have any more. Last few lockers haven't had any of that kind of stuff in them. Any hats? No, um, no, but I think on Friday we'll have at least one hat. We found some nice hats in this locker recently. Expensive wool hats, like dress hats. And we found some Kangles and Kuji. We might do the Kuji or something. Friday we got a, like a one hour slot. Jana saying, how's it going? It's going all right, Jana. We're almost out of stuff, so. Um, uh, Kingo, the K-A-N-G-O, I, I think is how you spell it. Or, or G-O-L, yeah. Thanks, Brian. Um, Fan Branch got that, 11 bucks. Congrats. Guy had a lot of Kingo. Okay. Next up, got this old thermos right here. The bottom looks brand new. So I'm pretty sure this is a vintage piece, but the bottom looks like it hasn't been used. There's a little bit of wear on the side right here. You see like a little rust area. 
but uh, such a cool like mid-century look to it. There's some little scratches on it like it's been used, but the inside is clean. Super clean. Surprisingly clean. So vintage thermos here. Vintage thermos brand thermos. Starts at a buck. Whoa, it's walking away. It'd be a nice shelf piece. I mean, it just has that mid century look. It's cool. It makes you crave homemade soup, says Jinxie Purple. Oh, yeah, Ivan says the th soup thermos also. That makes sense because it didn't seem like it has that much volume for like coffee or something. Fan Branch got it for three bucks. Congrats. Okay. All right, next up, these um, Minnetonka. Moccasin boots. I found these before. These these have a good resale on them. Um, they're also supposedly extremely comfortable. You can see on the bottom there there is not very much wear on them. They have been worn. They have been, but not much wear at all. It's like not a lot of wear on here. These are size, I believe, nine. Yeah, see that right there, nine. They're Minnetonka. Very famous for this mo moccasin style shoe. And also supposedly like really, really comfortable. So we got the pair right here of nines, great condition. And there we go. Jeez, looks so dark. All right. And one last time, let me change this weight. And we'll start them at a buck, guys. These are supposedly really comfortable. Minnetonka. All right, Thomas Smith got it, 13 bucks. Congrats, Thomas. All righty. We're seriously getting low on stuff. We have comic books if you guys want comic books. And I don't, oh, geez. I don't know if anybody wants this. What are these called? I think they're for like tuxedos. They're, they're for, uh, for button, some. And I don't know if they're guests or not. They came in the guest box, but they're like tuxedo shirt buttons or something. Fancy ones. A couple of them have like, they're bejeweled out with the little jewels on them. I don't know. Do you guys want that? Tuxedo bling. If you want it, we'll start it at a dollar in the weight I put low on there. I'll ship it in this little box. I think this box probably, yeah, the box had a wallet in it originally, but it's where he kept his little button covers or tuxedo buttons or something. All right. Two bucks. <laughs> Congrats. All right. Okay, guys, I think we're down to like just comic books at this point. 
We went through all of our coins and everything. We'll try some comments if you guys want it, bid on it. If you don't, we'll know very quickly that you don't, and we'll call it an evening. How's that? No harm, no foul, right? Okay, so we got, oh, this is number one, Wolverine She. Number one, here's Wolverine 99 Annual. It's got Deadpool. Wolverine number 53. And Wolverine number 54. So we have those four. Starts at a buck. All right, nine bucks. Canmo's mom, congrats. Okay, we'll try another set of four here. Star Wars Empire, number 32, number 33. We've got this Wolverine. That's a great looking cover. I don't see the number though. Oh, number 98. And then Wolverine, number 99. All right, so old Camo's mom again, congrats to you. And I just saw up on the shelf over here, we do have a little bit more coins for um, our next auction, but it probably be, we'll probably wait till Monday next week. But as I said earlier, I think we might be out of coins. I do see a little bit more on the shelf, but we definitely we went through most of it tonight. Okay, next set of four. Wolverine, number 97 right there. Icons, number one of four with the thing. Wolverine number 49 in codename Wolverine Top Secret number 50. Okay, running. Nut House Storage Finds. <laughs> Rating with the party of six. What's up, you guys? Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Seems like uh, we should already be friends. Locker Nuts and the Nut House Storage Finds. <laughs> Team of nuts here. Thanks for the raid. We appreciate it. All right, that one sold. Og Dad, congrats. Congrats, congrats. Oh, his first show was great. Oh, that's awesome. Was that just the first show right now? That's very exciting. Wolverine number 48. Oh, nice. Number 47. 46. 46. And 45. All right, there's a nice run there. Didn't even plan that. Nice. Okay. Start to the buck.
Yeah, tomorrow night, Mama G's got a whatnot show. Guys, if you want to bookmark that, it's 7.15 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. She tries to do them every Tuesday or almost every Tuesday. So if you haven't yet followed Mama G, please do. She always moderates for us. She's a friend of ours, and we'd love to go send her some support and show some love uh, by being part of that auction tomorrow night. Even if it's just to hang out and chat, it's great. Buy something even better. Uh, there's great stuff. She's got great stuff. So, Camel's mom, congrats again. But I'm sure I, I can assure you guys, if you just want to go and pass some time and listen, you'll you'll have fun. You'll have fun. She's puts on a good-hearted show. It's it is a lot of fun. There's X Men number Uncanny X Men number four sixty three. We've got Wolverine number 18, Wolverine number 17, and Wolverine number 16. These two have near mint stickers on them, so apparently they're new mint, near mint. <laughs> she says, I try with the pressure's on. <laughs> Storage Legends, what's up, Guapo? He says, these Wolverine comics are fire. We'll see. We could tell by how much they sell for it. <laughs> well, no. Trying to um, get through these very large collections we bought last year. We bought a, bought a lot of comics. I've got, a, I think, about between 50 and 60 boxes from our last pickup in the storage locker that we haven't even gone through. I went through like barely, like when I was moving it from the van into the locker, I was kind of peeking around. I saw one that I pulled as first appearance Deadpool. That was the only one I pulled out. But there's other, there's gonna be some great stuff coming out. We haven't had the time to even go through a second time because we picked up like three collections last year. It takes a while to sell them. New, yeah, that new Mutants 98. You know it, Brian. Yeah. That was cool, huh? That was a good book. I don't think it was in the greatest condition, but still, it's just, it's one of those books that are just so hot right now. Yeah, you know, Guapa likes the shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Starry Nights Stormtrooper. <laughs> Camel's mom, congrats. Picked up another, oops, I'm talking. I didn't even have the next set ready. It's all right. That's all right. Let me get something a little different. Hmm. All right, check this out. X-Men Unlimited, number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. That's a pretty nice run. X-Men Unlimited, one through four. Starts at a buck. I'm trying to find sets if I can. Runs or whatever. Happy Jack got that. Congrats, Jack. Very nice. Um, okay, this one. Collector's item number one. Limited series. It's X-Men True Friends. This one's Alpha Flight, the new Weapon X. Number 18. X-Men 97 Annual. And X-Men Phoenix. Collector's item first issue, it says. All right. Starts now.
Uh, what was my total on the big unit with the trains? Right now, we, we're we still selling them. We still have not <laughs> sold everything. If you can believe that, that was 2001, uh, towards the end of 01. So it's not been that long, but still, um, is that two and a half years? We're still selling. We still have quite a bit, but we've already cleared over 250,000 in sales. And that's talking like after eBay fees or um, any other fees that would be associated with selling them. Uh, that becomes after the fees, maybe not after taxes, obviously, but net sales. And that's over 250,000. Crazy. Camo's mom, congrats. Another great pickup. This one is, um, is a run. So cable. No, so this is number 100. 101. 102. And 104. So we do have a little bit of a run there. Yeah, I think we still have probably 100,000 hours in trains to sell. And that might be, that's not overestimating. It might be underestimating. We, we have a tremendous amount still. All right, four bucks KFRC. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, the trains do sell. I mean, it's they are um, mostly European trains, so they sell a lot overseas. Not just to Europe. We sell a lot in China, too, in other parts of Europe. Um, but, yeah, they, it's, it's amazing how many people. I don't know a single train collector personally, but there are out there. Here's Wolverine number 58. 57, 56, and 55. So another another run there. Starts at the bottom. Whoa, Mama G bought a brooch off Facebook Marketplace. Missing a few stones. Bought it for 10 Listed it on the bay and sold within five minutes for two hundred bucks. That is what's up. That's amazing. Wait, two two bucks for the four Wolverines. Uh oh. Well, it looks like we might be getting close to the end because <laughs> they're going that cheap. We don't have a. Let's see, you got more cable. Yeah, I just have a lot more Wolverines. Let me get some X-Men. Maybe you guys want X-Men. I got some more X-Men. I'll bring out some X-Men right now. Okay, so we got X Men. Wait, nope, there's two double. I'm trying to get you guys a nice run without duplicates. There we go. 453. Nice Wolverine cover there. Uncanny X Men, 453. 452. 
Congrats, Jack. We'll do one more run that actually picks right up onto this one. That one's stopped at 450. There's 449, 448, 447, and 446. So they're getting a little bit older here. Starts at a buck. We have a pretty good run of X-Men, but it's mostly the newer stuff. Hey, Mercene, how's it going? <laughs> she says, better late than never. If you like comic books, it's it's just fine. If you like jewelry, then maybe not so much because we sold all the jewelry early, earlier. We're actually just down to comics at this point. We didn't have too much tonight. Happy Jack, congrats. Sold. Um, because we're partially because we just didn't have a lot tonight. Uh, which worked out great because Jana's Jana couldn't be here tonight. Here's continuing that run of X Men, getting older. Four forty five, four forty four, four forty three. And 442. Um, but also, we went a little bit light tonight because we got a big show coming up on Friday. We only have a one hour slot, but we're going to try to uh, we're going to try to sell a bunch of great stuff in one hour. Julie, thank you so much. Thanks for watching the videos. We appreciate it. All right. Happy Jack. Congrats again. Next set. Continuing on. Number 441. Number 440. Number 439. And number 438. Starts in a book. Oh, Miles Bat says, Hey, Jack and family, I'm your fan from the Philippines. That's so awesome. Thank you for watching us all the way from the Philippines. It's terrific. So cool. I don't know if we ship to the Philippines. Do, does it let you bid? I'm just curious. Don't bid just to find out, but I'm just curious if it, if it ships to the Philippines. I don't think we have shipped to the Philippines yet, so I don't know. All right. Happy Jack. Congrats again. Picking up a nice, really nice run of X-Men. And here's, we continue with that if you want it. 437, 436, 435, and 434. I, get, I don't know why they're in reverse order. That's how they were in the box. It seems a little odd. We'll only get an hour when we become famous. <laughs> it's our 15 minute of fame, right? Get, stretches to an hour. Um, yeah, though, but there, whatnot's got a schedule all day long of all these great sellers. And we're on at 4 p.m. Pacific, which is kind of our normal spot. So we're fortunate to get that. And um, there, I'm sure there's going to be some great stuff sold all day. We're seeing, we've saved some of our best stuff of the recent finds, you know, that we're putting it in. Happy Jack, congrats again. Okay, we'll keep the train going here. Getting close to the end of the box. So, um, and then the other boxes are different titles. So this Uncanny X-Men won't continue too much longer, but here we got 433, picking right up on the tail end of that last one. 432, 431, and 430. That's, that's, look at this cover right here. 
That's so cool. Hmm. Juggernaut goes for a buck. Okay. All right, Happy Jack, congrats. And then uh, this one's a little bent. You don't want bent ones, you want good looking books. Okay, so this run here continues. Let's see what we got 430. So we do have 429 right here, 428. But I don't have any past that. So then we're going to just slip in a couple of the other ones. Out of sequence here, 462 and 457, also Uncanny X-Men, but the, the run that we had going ends with that one there. Oh, issue 510? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing it, but um, I'll do a second pass because we did have some duplicates. So I'll look for that. Or issue 423? Hmm, I don't know. Let me do this. Happy Jack, congrats on that last pickup. Here's um, X-Men Unlimited. A little run. There's number 50. Number 49. 48. And 47. Right there starts at a buck. 423. I'll look for that in 510. I'll look for this. Did sell 423 just a little while ago, I think. Uh, I don't have a duplicate on that one, and I don't have the other one. Camera's mom for camera's mom won for a buck. Okay, I think with that we should probably cap the night. All right, <laughs> selling four books for a buck, but we have some giveaways. We got some giveaways. Let's do some giveaways. How about this uh, Prince CD? Found that in a recent locker, and it's sealed brand new. It's never been opened. Let's give it away. Hit and run. I'm not sure what that is. I think that might be one of his later albums, maybe. I don't know. I haven't heard this album, so. Sealed brand new. Shrink wrap. <laughs> Camel's mom. That was a good, nice pickup on that last lot of books. A dollar. 
we'll get um I'll try to get everything out tomorrow. It might be out on Wednesday this week, just depending on if I can get everything out tomorrow. I gotta load my trailer for the flea market tomorrow, so I'm kind of split. But tonight I might start packing so I get a jump start on it. And then uh Wednesday is flea market day. Haven't been there in like three weeks. We we're on vacation one week. Last week I didn't feel good, so haven't been there in like three weeks. So I'm happy to blow some stuff out. All right, let's give away this Prince CD here. We don't need to wait. We'll just do it. All right, Kino Star, congrats. Nice pickup. This I don't. This is like uh. Only reason I put this side because there are these Disney collectors that want everything Disney. There's a very old spoon with Mickey Mouse on it, and it says Disney Japan. So the fact is, made Japan means it's a little bit older. We'll give it away. All right, if you want it, you can have it. I think we so close to a comic book box full tonight. Pretty close. Okay. That helps. All right, let's draw this. 21 people, congrats. I mean, uh, good luck, everybody. And then the next up, nice. Okay, next up, this is an older piece here. 1972, it says, wind up Woodstock. 1972 on the foot there, though. It's got two copyrights. 1972 is the later one. 1960-something, I think, is the first one. I think that's the original copyright date for, Woods, uh, for uh, the Peanuts. And KFRC, congrats on the spoon, too. Sorry, I didn't announce that. Congrats. Oh, Mercedes says she used to have one of these, and it does wind up and walk. I would do it, but it's old, and I'm scared on at some point the spring might give out. Right now, it is functional. Thanks, Tanya. Should have another video out tomorrow. That's going to be a new locker. And uh, come to find out the lady was a postal carrier, and I think she still is a postal carrier in the town where I bought the storage locker. So we, I don't really know why she lost the locker. Um, the manager couldn't, she couldn't understand it either. She's like, I don't know why she stopped paying on it. Found a little bit of good stuff in there. So it's a new locker, and it's a one and done. You know, one video, cover the locker, go through everything, done. And then the next locker is a different, I mean, next video is a different locker. All right, let's let's draw a winner on Woodstock here, and then June nineteen sixty nine. Congrats, nineteen sixty nine. It's almost the same as the Woodstock year. It's funny. We'll give away one of these glass Disney toppers, glass toppers, bottle toppers rather. This one's Tigger. If you guys want those, we have them in our giveaway. I mean, I'm sorry. Buy it now. I'm starting to get tired. We have these in our buy it now, but I say don't buy it tonight. All right, don't buy it tonight. If you want one of these glass toppers, wait till Friday because we're going to discount the price. These have always been $15 each. We have six different characters. On Friday is part of the um, big event. We're discounting some of our buy it nows. These are included, so there would then be $10 for a buy it now instead of $15. So. Oh, yeah, those Carhartt jumpsuits, Jack. Those were cool. Surprisingly, I, I thought, oh, I'll bring the stock and they'll buy them because there's so many workers out there. They, they go crazy for tools. I don't think I sold one pair out there. And then I'm like, oh, I'll bring it to Danza then. They'll buy them just because they're Carhartt. And we didn't sell one pair out there. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with these guys? Nobody knows what these are. So in their defense, each day I brought a tremendous amount of clothes. So it was easily got shuffled in with mountains of clothes so maybe they just got overlooked 
but there was like six of them, I think. Five or six. I think five good ones and one that was thrashed. So I was surprised. And then Jeff Cohn, what's up? Locker Nuts crushes the dollar lockers. Yeah, I mean, I put a lot of time into cleaning out and going to the dumps, but the dollar lockers always pay. They always pay. All right, let's draw this one. And then uh, we'll do a couple beanie caps, guys. If you guys want a beanie cap, JCW won the bottle top uh, glass topper. Congrats. And the beanie caps, if you haven't got one yet, then here's your chance. Keep your head warm. The Locker Nuts beanie cap. You'll get a fresh, brand new one. Don't worry. This one is just our floor model. And thank you, everyone, for participating tonight. Don't forget, Mama G's got an auction tomorrow night. Tuesday is when she does her auctions. So tomorrow night, uh, go join her. And uh, she'll be selling some great stuff. She always does. And then Friday night, we'll be back at the same time slot we normally do, which is 4 p.m., but it'll be on Friday. We've got one hour, and we're selling some of our best recent finds. And there's going to be some there's going to be some really exciting stuff. So, And there's going to be a couple good giveaways, too. Uh, 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 buyer appreciation giveaways this time on Friday. So, yeah, check it out. It's a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. All right, let's give this one away. 34 people. Good luck, everybody. Oh, I don't have any more sheet sets. Three-wheeler won that one. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. The sheet sets are all gone. There's one more cap, guys. So one more chance, and then we're going to wrap it up for tonight. Um. You know, the sheet sets, we sold quite a few through the live auctions. And, but really, the shipping was just so expensive. Uh, it prohibited us. And we, we wouldn't fit them in a flat rate box. So it really made it difficult to sell too much of those here on a live auction. Um, but we blow, blew them out to flea market, too. And it, it, was, it was a lot of fun selling that Madame Coco stuff because it was great quality stuff. Um, do we have any Lord of the Rings? No, not right now. When, when we find it, we do sell it, but we don't right now. I got a couple lockers right now that I'm sitting on. One's a, it's like a pod, you know, it's like the portable units. It's, it's called units is the name of the company, but it's just like pods. And I bought one of those. So I rented it for a month. So they just basically brought it back into their warehouse and I got to call them say, okay, you know, I'm going to be there Thursday. They'll bring it out to the parking lot where I can go through it and load it up. It is basically the same size as my trailer. So it's going to be basically taking stuff out, sticking in the trailer. Um, and then I have a 10 by 25. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away from me. And that thing's been sitting for 25 years and it is so dirty and dusty, but there's just mountains of uh, plastic totes in there. So I didn't see anything good in there. So a lot of tools, but it's just got some potential. It's been sitting so long. So a couple of really exciting ones. I think they're going to be exciting. All right, let's draw this last hat and then wrap it up tonight, guys. And that one, M. Huddle got that one. All right, congrats. Congrats to you. All right, well, thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We uh, Let's go ahead and rate someone. But once again, just make sure you join us tomorrow night. We'll be on Mama G's channel. And I'll be there in the chat with you guys and maybe even buying. Hopefully not bidding against you guys. I don't like bidding against you guys, but if she has something that's really cool, I might bid against you guys. So, All right. <laughs> Let's raid somebody. Let me see who's on. Um, oh, Pat D's is on. Let's go see what Pat D's is up to and give him a hard time. All right. Don't go easy on Pat D's. Give him a hard time. Let's tell him Locker Nuts sent you and then give him a, a good razzing. All right. <laughs> he he likes it. He he's he has a good sense of humor. All right. Thanks you guys for being here. And uh thank you, Mama G, for moderating. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, uh welcome, welcome. Uh Locker Nuts is we're here with a raid. See